<laughs> oh, what's so good, internet? Sir, dude. Sir, ah, internet. Sir, internet. Sir. What's, what's up? Sir. Welcome to Saturday. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to Saturday. Saturday. Oh, As, it was so nice outside today. Oh, I am sunburnt. I'm a little burnt. Oh, no. It's okay. Just my shoulders. It's kind of super white. I'm really, really white. Mm. I look at the sun the wrong way and I burn. It's fine. The sun just fades too. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's good though. I had that like post sun sleepies at like four this afternoon. I was like, I could take a nap or I could have a cup of coffee and I chose coffee. I wanted to take a nap so bad today, but I decided not to. Just I always like, hate the, the, the sunny sleepies because I feel like the sun has taken energy from me and that's not the relationship I'm used to with the sun. Like, <laughs> I'm used to, like, eating plants, which get their shit. Taking what is mine. <laughs> yeah, like, that's you. not how this you're, relationship you're works. Not, you're not I comfortable you. losing your dominance over the sun, Sean. I don't <laughs> like anti-photosynthesis, which is what happens when I get sunny naps. Um, like, yeah, sunny naps are great um, how many of us are sean deppner right now sorry i, 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 was, I forgot i was sean deppner um <laughs> dude happens to me all the time <laughs> i should become lighters though probably <laughs> Horns. So, the, the only thing i don't like about the sunny sleep okay, I'm lighters. i don't get the sunny sleepies as much but i do get heat stroke epically the first day of like real summer day because I'm horrible at hydrating myself and then I go out on the beach and I haven't hydrated myself and I just like I die it's bad you die yeah, that is bad so uh, bad. no it's real bad <laughs> guess uh guess how many followers we have <gasps> how many? Are you doing? I would say actually it's uh 250 hey! oh, oh. Good. oh boy uh, oh boy I'm not I'm gonna so do excited. it tonight because now is when I start preparing Right, like that. Right, mm-hmm. you right. have an actor going to do it. I'll do it right. Yeah, yeah. three yeah. hours, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Not only do I have to sing, I have to come up with a theme song on the spot, like Adam does. Yeah. Be oh, I thought it was you were gonna sing our theme song. Yeah, Not you're coming know. up with a new theme. No, 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 no. Well, who knows what I'm gonna do? I've been practicing a few things. <laughs> this hasn't caught me so by excited. surprise. <laughs> but when so is excited. the deadline? Is it? probably next oh. saturday i okay. don't know next saturday, we'll okay. next saturday makes sense. That's it. we Let's should also that. probably decide our next follower goal because we it's do have adam's some... beard is it adam's it's 300 adam's it's a 300 <laughs> adam gets to pick for, like a, a number of beard stylings that he's comfortable with but are as absurd as his job will allow <laughs> and then our followers get to vote on which they wow. want to shave it as. And is that 300 or 350? Adam, what do you think your beard is worth? <laughs> oh, shit. Big shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sounds like a 300 to me. 350. 350. Oh, 50. Okay. Ooh, okay. Shooting high. Oh, Oof. That's... Should we? Uh, all right. Sounds good. Yeah. I was going to say, should we do something to 300 then? But. Well, I know that when we get to a little bit higher, there will be some art giveaways mm-hmm. and some art commissions that will be coming out there from that have been tossed around so we'll just have to kind of figure out what those stretch goals are wait there's we can do commissions like well um our wonderful amazing artist tiana has basically said that whatever whatever milestone we pick uh once we get to that milestone she will uh, draw somebody's D D character from the chat like a random draw so- if i get on the chat because <laughs> I love letters art and I want more. Well, there is I, more art I, of us coming down the pipe. Yeah, but I want more all the time. <laughs> I am always, always hungry more art. for fan art. Just gonna uh, or push all of our fans out of the way. Torrance. <laughs> <laughs> and I, can I not win? And the winner right. of our art contest <laughs> is Sean. Sean Deppner. Sean Deppner, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Fan. I'd like to thank the Academy and me. Uh, I will oh. say, though, we Sorry. did get sent to us over instagram our very first piece of fan art this week yeah. Yeah. yes cool thank you thank you um and it yeah yeah 
It was cool. Did I don't want to be on my that? phone because we're on D and D. Did you miss but... that in the? Did you miss, did you miss it? it in the message? It was in our group <laughs> chat. It was in our Facebook group chat. Ooh. Yeah. You got look when you guys get real excited about something. I like turn over. It's been six minutes, true. and I turn over, and my like... phone has ninety-seven <laughs> messages. It's true. I just go. <laughs> I like. I can't read a book right I missed now. It. I'll... <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. But sometimes they're really funny jokes. Sometimes. Yeah. Beans. <laughs> yeah actually don't look at the group chat right now yes no don't Horrible. please don't Horrible. really bad it's like in a dark turn <laughs> very dark turn should we uh let's do it roll some intro yeah yeah let's do, Come it. On, dude. Let's do it i'm gonna be good ha <laughs> When you're stuck in quarantine and there's nothing on TV, come on down, come on down, come and see Black Order D and D. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's so excited oh. every time. You guys, does that, everyone sings along, right? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. yeah, yeah, of course. Can you hear me fucking belting it through our apartment walls? Oh, it's because you got the noise canceling headphones on. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tricky one. Uh, just before we jump in, I do want to make one announcement. Uh, I forgot to say it earlier, uh, but we have a very special session uh, this coming Friday. We're going to be streaming uh, a session that is. Um, it's technically in the world. It's in canon of the game. Uh, but it will kind of happen outside of the main story of what's going on. Uh, it will make sense when we do it, uh, but it's uh, it's Emma's birthday on Friday. Uh, and traditionally, the last two years, we've done a session on her birthday um, that involves uh, another NPC that the stream has yet to meet, but they have <laughs> met many times, um, named Adonis. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be having a special stream on Friday night. Come and join us if you want. If not, whatever that's fine it'll it will be up be on youtube and yeah here, uh, but it, it's super fun it's always a really good time so yeah so we'll have friday we'll be streaming friday and saturday as well as chat water on monday so lots of streams next week wow. so if you've got what? any questions as things come along please put them in the chat with hashtag chat water and we will make sure that we pull through those questions. Um, this week, we'll be talking about a little bit more about the Velsum arc. We'll be answering a lot of questions about Gravel Boys. Um, we're going to be starting off with that. And then a couple other things that a really- bit about Adonis a, little bit about Adonis. a little bit about Adonis. And probably, hopefully, touching on uh, the Faith Forged as mm -hmm. a race. Yeah, I love that. I missed that session. Yes, yes. Cool. Okay. All right. Oh, Sophia. I have one more announcement. Yes. Yes. Oh, happy, birth yeah. happy birthday to my mom. Oh. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy also, birthday, you know, Mama Wildcloak. Also, also happy birthday. Uh, happy belated birthday, Adam. Yeah. Adam. And, and happy belated birthday, birthdays. Yanis. Yanis. Yes. Yes. Birthday, Yanis. So many also, birthdays. If I'm not mistaken, Adam, is it Australian Mother's Day today? Yeah. Happy Mother's Day to all you Australian moms. Uh, You're doing right. great. The fact you've made it this long to have been killed by <laughs> a spider. Not, is is it not Canadian Mother's Day tomorrow? It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Because tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. our Father's Day is different. Oh. Father's Day is in like September, I think. Oh, ours is in June. Like, it's, it's basically the equivalent of summer. So it's like oh, right. Okay. Right. November you're all backward. You're all topsy turvy yeah. right, down there. Dad's like the grill. Yeah, All I know is course. I'm getting pancakes tomorrow morning and I'm really excited yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of That's Australia right. and birthdays, uh, I just want to give all these guys a shout out that uh, on Thursday, my birthday, we all played a, a very silly game where everyone surprised me with the worst characters that were all Australian. Uh, our very own Matt, GM'd and everyone else was Australian characters doing Australian accents or a close approximation too. So, yeah, we it might have clips so, of that that we can release yeah. here. Oh, on yes. So, we couldn't stream it. It was so insensitive. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. But was, some clips, there's a there recording some of it, clips. though. Somebody there's, recorded there's, it. I, maybe I, one day. It's recorded. It is recorded. Oh, so, maybe one there day will be clips. 
Only clips. <laughs> only clips. <laughs> only oh clips. Only clips. Be like, you, okay, you can't okay, watch it all. Continuous. Okay, guys, I've edited out everything that's not okay uh, for stream. It's, it's a 12 minute seconds. video. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, uh, great. All right. So last week, uh, for those of you just joining us tonight, uh, last week, Blackwater made the final push to the palace square to confront the evil lich Velsum as they prepared to ascend into the square from the sewers below. A storm of ravens ascended upon the afflicted slaves and the nearby demons, clearing a path to Velsum and the rift that he had created to unleash the mad god Thera's doom. The party battled with Velsum and Kokani's father, Alamir, and they dispatched Velsum and Alamir. Uh, Velsum they dispatched twice, but not before he killed Yana. And Nepi steps through the rift to cast Power Word Banish and forge a new seal on Thara's Dune. And in doing so, she drifted farther into the abyss, leaving Callie to decide to resurrect Spooky or catch Nepi. She brought Spooky back to life as the rift began to close. Letters fortunately was able to send in Bigby's hand just far enough to flick Nepi back through the rift as it sealed up behind her. We'll pick up as the dust settles from the battle. That's, I believe, where we left it. I don't think I'm emotionally prepared for this. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> so much the coast. rift kind of stitches back together, that yellow light just whoosh, dissipates through the sky. Once Tim, again, you can see blue sky above. I, I Before we get into what is going to be yeah. great role play, uh, I have a technical question, which yes. is when you level up, is it like an instant bump up of health and abilities like the moment it happens or is it next short or long rest it's neck uh you've leveled up um you don't gain all those hit points back you'll get those after your next long rest you next do goes. gain you do gain the new spell slots those will be available to you so whatever hot, top tier spell slots that you get okay, so max available. went up but not current age yeah 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 gotcha yeah. um so i'm what? i'm I just, uh, I would have really appreciated if someone had come over here right before we streamed and made me cry. Um, but that's okay. What, how many hit points am I at if I'm revivified? Am I just like stabilized? One. Okay, that's so. okay. Got it right. So I'm in letters arms, right? Yes, I also need you to make, uh, Nephi, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Okay. uh an 11 okay so as you are back on the material plane you cannot shake these like vivid sights of the abyss just keep haunting you like as soon as you close your like you're unable to escape them as you close your eyes you can see like the massive amount of hands kind of moving and demon faces um you are suffering from uh some madness and you have disadvantage on ability checks okay What happened? You good? You good? You all right? Um, Nephi, are you all right? Oh yeah, you should be. You hold her. You, oh, you take no, her. Uh, <laughs> sure. Um, you can put me down. You can put me down. Yeah, yeah. No, you're. Yeah, you put, yeah I did. Okay. Yeah. You, you Is take this one. Right? Pat him on the back. Did it work? Did it work? I, I, I think so. Oh, thank oh. God. Nepi just like drops to her knees um, and she's like holding Kokani's hand and she just drops to her knees and she just looks like she's she's bleeding. She is um, like you, you look, she looks like she's very afraid. She doesn't look relieved. She looks unsettled. Yeah. Uh, Kokani gets down and wraps his arms around her. I'm, I'm so I'm so glad you made it back. Uh, and I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds at fifth level. She just like leans into him. The hallucinations do not go away. Okay. Do we do it, Callie? Like, can we get them? I think so. Okay. I think we got them. Wait, where's his bones? Um, what if he comes back again? You see where his body was. Uh, it is just ash. His his armor is kind of singed and blackened um, and kind of twisted and um, destroyed, basically. Nepi would uh, call out, "Get the get the amulet and the staff, please." Uh, yeah, 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 please. yeah. yeah. Thirty-two points of healing. 
uh, mag ma magic hand. Yeah. I'm going to cast Mage Hand to pick up the stuff and the, the amulet. I run over with the, uh, the oh, we should wrap this in something. Uh, Takes you a bit but... of time to find the amulet kind of in the like ash and, and sand kind of around the body, but eventually you kind of see it and pull it out um, on this large kind of dark iron chain. You can see in the center is a large yellow diamond kind of encased in an iron setting. I'm going to wrap that up in some cloth. Likewise with the uh, the staff, so we don't do touching. Okay. Put that in the bag. I have the bag. Yeah, has the yeah, bag. yeah. You you got the bag. Um, okay. We we need to be quick with with the amulet and the staff. We have to get rid of them. We have to. And my pants. Uh, yes. Okay. I think if. If what Nissa said was, we have to get rid of the three of them together. Um, we have to destroy them. Oh, magically, like, or can we just hit them a bunch? Nissa suggested lava. Uh. You flew from Cinderville, did you not, with the dragon? There is a yes, volcano on Cinderville. We did. The King's Cauldron. Yeah, that took us. How, how long did it take us, fellas? Oh, yeah. A couple of days. Uh, like that was flying nonstop. <laughs> oh, wait. If we take, if we take like a, a, a big old nap, I can get us there. Lickety split. Um, but I, I, I am tapped. Uh, so am I. So we can, we can lava, but um, I was really expecting to see Clack here and I don't think he's, he's not. Here. I don't think he's here. Yeah. Uh, shit. There was, as we were coming up to here, I too expected to see him. Um, but if he's not here, then there are three possibilities that I can think of, of where he is. Possibility number one, he's here in the city, still confined. And if he is, there is one person I can speak to, to find him. And she would look at Alamir. Um, if we sleep, I can talk to him. If you would, if we think that is the right way to go. The second possibility is that he was taken, has collateral, by the Matron of Vengeance. And uh, I don't I think- saw, I saw the Matron of Vengeance through that uh, portal before oh. it closed. So uh, um, I don't know if it's that one. Right. I, I would agree with you, Finn and I. She has no reason to take him as collateral. None. And then letters. Yeah. There is The person, Baba, does she have reach on this plane? Nah, Baba wouldn't give a shit about Clack. Like, Clack wasn't even her patch. But she gave a shit about you. Yeah, then she would have come for me. Nah, that's not Baba's deal. Like, as far oh. as I can tell, I'm the only fucking Earth fucking plane guy to ever make it to the current plane i mean i haven't come up with i, I haven't read anything about it. Really, tim i mean i looked into this mm. like i'm i'm the only fucking earth guy i want the plane of earth that's where i'm from yeah <laughs> that you've come across yes i'm the only scar boy here i think that's honestly i feel like it probably we look i don't want to be too greedy or whatever and i know we could all use a rest but there is a big old palace here and there's probably a dungeon there and before we go looking for gods and extramental fucking bullshit let's fucking take a gander at that the palace has been destroyed it was the like Fuck. the spire itself was cracked in half like you can now see the rubble of it um it was cracked in half to create this rift as it just destroyed the uh, surrounding palace oh, boy. if it's just rubble if we sleep i can find him yeah better okay. can you yeah. write in the sky yeah, always oh fuck that's smart 
God, yes. Brandon, what? Yeah. Yeah, give me 10 minutes. I can, um, I could cast sending to him. That too. Yes. Yeah. I mean, wait, can you do that right now? Right this second. What are we talking about here? Yeah, you do that. I, I didn't want to do it before the fight because I figured we might need the spell slots yeah, to not yeah, die. That was but... absolutely the right the right move, but you're you're packing slots, so that's great. Well, um, please. Okay, I'll cast sending. Okay, roll a d100 for me. Do you want the top 5% and the bottom 5%? Oh. Top. We have 45. Five, okay. Yep, yeah, goes through. Hi, Clack. It's me, Kokanee Lightkeeper. Are you alive? And if so, where are you? Blessings from my goddess. <laughs> I also have a goddess. It's true. Is that part of the message? Yes. It's in defense of Finn and scoffing at me. (laughs) (laughs) A few minutes go by, and then you hear, Kokanee, I'm in the plane of Earth. Baba got me. I'm not in the scar. They've taken me somewhere else. Uh, oh. oh, sorry. Uh, and that's all you hear. Uh, I cast something again. <laughs> Fuck, Dan. <laughs> Don't Hi. go there. Hi, Clock. It's me. Uh, Kokanee, like you, <laughs> again. <laughs> If there is any information about where you are at all, please tell us we're coming. A few minutes go by. <sighs> I need you to roll a D100 again also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top again. Okay. That'll be a 67. Okay, you're fine. Tunnels. Bob up. Fled. Fled. Uh, can't speak too much. Being watched. That's all you hear. He's um, he's alive, but he's on the plane of Earth. And Baba has him. <laughs> Then we go get him. I think I think that we have no choice but to deal with Velsum first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. I, good call. I I I want more than anything to go get Clack, but we can't let Velsum get away. And oh when we have him right here, we have to get rid of him. Let us seven I'm thinking of seven's words now. If you are what Baba wants. They will keep Clack alive. They will not hurt him. Nothing he cannot handle. That's no solace, I know. But we'll get him. Clack are pretty, sorry, Patch are pretty disposable. Uh, We'll see, but I agree. Velsum's got to go first. And as far as I can tell, we can't do anything about either of them till tomorrow. Uh, so uh, that's that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, okay. So step one tomorrow to the caldera. We get rid of the the vestiges or the, the whatever they're called. Um mm-hmm. And then to the scar. Is there anything we can do right now to safeguard against these things coming back in the next nine hours? Just if anybody knows about vestiges. 
I've thought of a name for them just because like Velsun was a bit of a whore and these are kind of the crux of his plans. So um, I thought we could be calling them like the whore's crocs or like the whore crocs. Something like, something like those lines. It's just, just a thought. Just just to keep things simple. So we're not like these things or the, you know, streamlined. Phylacteries? I like but... whore crocs. Mm -hmm. Like, Has yeah, but you're right. We do need a nickname like Lacty Boys or something because they're phylacteries, but that's too <laughs> long and formal. You're right, Finn. We do need a fun thing to call them. Lactoids. I like that. Is there, is, Tim, is there anywhere around where we could find shelter of some description? Yeah. Do the, have the buildings stopped moving? Yes, as far as you can tell, the buildings have stopped moving um, in the immediate, like, there's a number of buildings around that seem to be abandoned or deserted, you're not sure. Um, but there's a number of kind of half-destroyed buildings, some still intact. Um, you can't see much beyond the square, so you'd have to explore a bit farther if, like, to be sure if everything is, um, if everything has stopped. But. I'm, I'm uh, going to go over and cast a fourth level Cure Wounds on Spooky. Yes, I would be right behind with a first and a second. Thirty-one points of healing. Oh, that's good. That's going to be uh, twenty-four to follow that up. Nice. Uh, and then I'm going to cast a second level cure wounds on letters. Oh, nice. That'll be uh, fifteen points of healing. Rad. I am officially spelt out. I am pretty close. Oh, you're amazing. I'm I'm heal tapped. I can't good. heal anyone. I got a bunch of spells. I got yeah. all my spells left. Um, so I, Tim, I grew up here, mm -hmm. and I know that it's not like completely the same. But was this mm -hmm. tower castle thing here when I was young? Uh, yeah, the tower's been around for pretty much the whole time. That was kind of the like. Um, it's one of the like major landmarks of Bacall. Um, I, 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 I'd like to try. And like vaguely, well, first of all, I'd like to search Alamir's body. Okay, make an investigation check. Cast guidance on myself as I go in. It's uh, 17 plus two plus zero, 19. 19. Uh, Emma, so that's, yeah. that's Sean and I. It's We're hearing the same thing through the window, so it's happening twice. Um, you find his, uh, his gun. Um, kind of lying next to him um and you can now see that it's a, a fairly crude long gun compared to yours um seems to be crafted from a similar dark iron um to the uh amulet um and it you can tell it's built primarily for function there's no real kind of um like decorative aspect to it at all um, and its central chamber houses a long yellow gemstone. Um, and you can see on the like kind of long, thin gemstone, you can see inscribed is the symbol of Thara's Dune, along with um, some abyssal runes uh, etched into the, uh, the acacia wood stock. Uh, uh, I, I, I pop it open and pull the, the gem out and toss it on the ground. Okay, yeah. You're uh, and then just try to smash it with the this back of the gun. Make a uh, strength check. Fuck. Um, it's with five. a d4 for guidance. Okay. That won't help. Um, that'll be six minus one is five. You just kind of doesn't seem to smash. Fuck, I just kick it really hard. Okay. Yeah. Kind of rolls away. Um... You also find uh, his boots seem to have some arcane runes on the like soles of them. Um, they look uh, fairly simple in design, kind of simple leather boots. But as you look underneath, you can see there's some arcane sigils on them. Um, and you find, uh, as you're kind of looking through, you find in his pocket uh, a kind of medium-sized yellow diamond. Um, does it look like creepy magical trapped anything like that or is it just like a yellow colored diamond 
Uh, you can make an Arcana check. I'm doing all the roles that I'm really good at. Uh, I'm going to cast Guidance on you for that, too. That's not going to do it regardless. That will be a 8 plus 1 plus 0. Um, yeah, you're not sure. Like It's like kind of a medium size. It's not huge, um, but it looks like a nicely cut diamond. Um, okay. Uh, I would I would just take it out and toss it on the ground beside him. Um, letters, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, oh yeah, I'm um, I'm your probably. guy. I got I got wizard stuff. I'll wizard that. Um, and then I'm gonna cast identify on his boots. Okay. Uh, you find I'm going to message them. They are air striders. Oh shit! Shout out to dungeon scribe. Ah, oh, love dungeon scribe. Um, these boots are. Uh, while worn, the user is capable of taking three steps off generated magical platforms across open air, which can be utilized in the following way. The user can stride over gaps up to 15 feet without an athletics or acrobatics check. The ability to leap up to three times to a distance of the user's movement speed in a direction of oh. the user's choosing for each leap, including vertically. If still in the air at the end of their turn, the user will fall normally. Advantage on acrobatics checks involving air maneuvering not including, uh, as an example, like grappling or squeezing through narrow spaces. Uh, advantage on dex checks or saving throws involving pit traps, climbing, maintaining stability, or to prevent falling. Dope. Yeah, I'll pretty yeah. dope. I'll Shout out to Dungeon Scrap for that one. Yeah, super cool. I'll pull his boots off. Okay. And they um, do require attunement, I believe. Yeah. yeah. I'll, take, I'll take the boots and the gun. Okay. Um, and I'm going to just leave them propped up on the wall there. Um, Hogany. Yeah. Do you do you have anything you wish to know from him? Yeah. A lot of things. Anything that he will be willing to answer if I talk to him? I have no idea. Is there any way that we can take him um home? Home? Yeah. Yes. Or I have a little bit more time. Yes. Okay. That's what I like to do. I'm going to use my very last spell slot, uh, second level, to cast Gentle Repose on Alamir. Okay. Um, I I'll have to put him in the bag. Sure. I don't care. All right. Um, Nepi would take a moment and do the ritual for Gentle Repose. Um, I think it's salt and coins on the coppers on the eyes, and then she would wrap him in shroud and put him in the bag. Feet up. I um, I I as she's doing that, I get up and I walk over to the the rubble. Um, I'm I'm trying to figure out um, I'm trying to figure out like vaguely where Alamir's room would have been, and also where um. If if Velsum had some like, you know, place that that he had like a study or something, like I'm trying to like vaguely understand where that would have fallen, and I'm gonna just start picking through the rubble and looking. Okay. I'm looking for information. I'm looking for like books, anything to figure out. Um, okay. Make a, an investigation check. Okay. You want, I see him poking around. You want you want a hand looking for stuff? That'd be that'd be great. Okay, I'm gonna also investigate. Wizard style. I think that's 11. No, 12 with the new proficiency. Yeah. It's 10. Yeah, you're having a tough you guys, time. You guys want some help? <laughs> I say still from Callie's arms. <laughs> already investigated. Um, as you kind of pick through, it's like it is just a mass of like huge blocks of sandstone. Um, like kind of cover the whole thing that like structural a part of the tower has has kind of dominated any um of the like lower buildings it's it's just like large stones and you're not finding anything um that even remotely resembles any books or anything like that did did i know that alamir or velsum have a place outside of the the castle whatsoever not that you know of no, Al Almir didn't have a house or a keeper somewhere around here. No, Almir lived in the palace, um, as did you. Yeah. And 
um, Velsum didn't have like a summer home or anything. The closest thing you might guess would be his ship that he arrived in Bacall with, but they're not sure. Okay. Um, while they were investigating, I would go over to Yana. Um, are you feeling all right? Are you? I'm fine. <laughs> He's, uh, who, what, he went to dad once, right? It's fine. <laughs> you yeah. can see that she's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> I am probably about as fine as you are, but in a different way. She would just like hold her hand. And if Callie was there, she would just hold her hand too. Well, we're not finding anything in the rocks. Uh, uh, it's probably, if we ever get time, worth digging through this. Uh, but I think for right now, we should probably find a safe place to rest up. That Dag guy seemed pretty cool, but that might be hard finding him. Uh, so just any house that's not broken that doesn't actively have like demons in it would be pretty oh. cool. Oh. You want to, I mean. Can we, we do that? We, yeah, we could stay at my house, but I cannot guarantee on the demons. Well, well no, that's fine. We like your demons. You got great <laughs> okay. taste in demons. You're going to have a good time. I didn't know that your house was available. That's awesome. I love yeah, that. Just barely. That's so much better. Yes. Yeah. More comfortable. Yeah. I um, just like on a near nearby wall, I cast um, Magnificent Mansion and you see that familiar like tree bark door appear in the wall. So you uh, you all head into the mansion, and you see I'm just like waiting there. Fuck! I forgot about that guy. And wait, hey, just bud. just checking the other two are Yanis and Cody, right? That's what we decided on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. okay. yeah. What's the first one's name? Ted. 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 Yeah. Ted. <laughs> hey, Ted. How you doing? Good. Wait, has he always been able to talk? Is that new? <laughs> yeah, they can talk. <laughs> Ted, how do you like working at uh, Yana's place? I like it. <laughs> this makes me uneasy. <laughs> hey, Ted, uh, who's your favorite between Yanis and Cody? Like... <laughs> If you had to just keep one Giannis. gun to your head. Giannis. Oh, wow. You didn't have to think about that. <laughs> uh, guys, usually I'm one for monkey shines, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to bed. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty wiped. Yes. can take a handful of oats for the road. and He's like immediately like kind of pulls out two <sighs> handfuls of oats. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> all right, Ted, usually that'd be great, but I was really kind of hoping for like a solo walk to the kitchen, but... Now that you've got them, I love how prepared you are and how candid you are when I ask you questions. So that's very reassuring. Mm. You have a good night, Ted. <laughs> he just kind of like <laughs> disappears into the floor. Yeah, okay. That's unsettling. Yana, was, is he the way you want him to be? When you made this place, you're like, you what? imagine Ted and he is a perfect... What's, wrong, what's wrong with him? No, no, no. I just want to make sure he is what you wanted <laughs> when you made this stuff. That's who he is, Letters. As we all yeah, are. No. And it sounds like I have the answer to my question. Thank you. You have a good night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't let Ted watch you. <laughs> who's who's waking up in the middle of the night tonight and Ted's just standing at the base of their bed? <laughs> terrifying as he said that his head kind of like no <laughs> did someone say my name yes ted we're talking about you oh. ted where do you see yourself in five years he here good that was a trick question and you passed ted you're a very good servant <laughs> he's gonna be the death of us all of us uh big bad evil guy 
He's going to be the undeath of every single one of us. Yeah. Ted, Ted the undoing. Yes. He's fine. So you all. I don't trust Bill, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See another one just kind of is like. <laughs> <laughs> See that's the guy you gotta worry about. Sorry, there's always one. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No. Actually, you thought no, he was just a is... painting. You thought it was just a painting. It was just mm, like. Don't like that Actually, at this all. Actually, this is out. This isn't. This isn't cooking. This is Matt. Jen, in your ideal scenario, <laughs> in your perfect mansion, there is a untrustworthy servant. <laughs> Named Bill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh my God. Obviously, this is exactly how I wanted it to go, and also exactly how you wanted it to go. Don't lie. <laughs> um, I'm. I'm. Bill also has just like a little twirly mustache, <laughs> just also, like everybody else. But just such like a, a rascal. <laughs> Does this Bill and guy. Ted do they look like Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves? Yeah, but reversed. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. <laughs> But like young, like Bill and Ted era, like no, Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves, or as they look today, or like as if they died and Both you brought them is. back. Time <laughs> it's horrifying. Time is a flat circle, guys. That's oh, okay. what it is. Time doesn't exist. It's a social construct. He's, <laughs> he's just gonna sort of like trod to to bed. Okay. Nephew would go as well. You all head down for a rest. Tim, can I sl- sleep? Like. Uh, is Neppy able to sleep? You potentially. You can try. We'll find out. Okay, you should try. Yeah. Letters, because I understand this is a big old mansion. Letters is going to go to his quarters. He's going to open it up and he's going to see the two hammocks the one for him and the one for Clack. Oh, no. And he's just going to find a different place to sleep tonight. And he's going to fucking lay his head there. Um, he's just gonna like walk into his room and just like shrug his gear off uh and just like slump into bed i think you guys already know what's coming kelly's uh gonna call her wife <laughs> call your wife also kelly sleepover please i don't mm-hmm. know if you okay <gasps> can i not oh can- oh from inside the tent it's a di- technically a d- different oh. plane of existence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if it's ascending stone, it would sort of probably step be out a- to take the call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I step out, can I get back in? You're just like, yeah. trying to find a reception. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah, okay, Ted, Kelly- Ted holds the door open for you. <laughs> <laughs> as he opens mm-hmm. it, like as his his hand disappears, as the door opens. <laughs> As it like also, crosses the threshold. Jen, did you say Tad? Is there another ghost? <laughs> there's Ted and then there's Tad? No, I said Ted. Oh, I heard Tad. But I haven't answered the second question. Go um, ahead. <laughs> I'd be like, thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> he goes, oh, you want me to leave? And he just <laughs> slides into the floor. <laughs> No, I thought, okay. She's going to pull out her sending stone. She's going to, oh my God, sorry. I just pinched my funny bone on the counter. That's fine. Um, hello. Hello? Hi. You're uh, alive. Yes, we are all alive. Yeah. Um, Seems like a silly question to ask, but the sky is a normal color here. Mm-hmm. Bill Sim is dead. Uh, we have to, we have to destroy the phylacteries um, tomorrow. So we're resting, and then we have to go do that. Um, Clack, uh, Clack is Clack got taken. Um, what do you mean? Baba, uh, who used to own letters, uh, has taken him. So what? How? How did she know? I'm not sure. Um. So we've. Uh, I gotta go back to the Earth Elemental Plane. All right. But we're just gonna get clack, and then we're gonna get out. It'll be easy. Like 
just like it was last time. Be easy, and then we'll be done. Then and I'll get to see you again. Then I'll get to see. Yes. I love you. I love you so much. Jar is asleep, but mm. make sure will. you take her to see the sky tomorrow. I will. I promised her I'd fix it, and I did. Um, <laughs> she is going to be very impressed. I'm glad. It's so hard to impress her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I should. Um, I'm gonna. Are you go all right? Ahead. You don't sound all right. Uh, I got. I got hurled through hell. <laughs> And then I, uh, and then, and then I had to, I had to pick between Nepi and Yana. And Nepi was in the rift and Yana was down. Huh. And like we have Nepi. And Yana? And we have Yana. I've, Oh. He's revivify for the first time. Oh, wow. but, I had to, but I had to pick. Um, and I turned my back on Neppy. Um, uh, it sounds like you had to make an incredibly difficult choice. Yeah. And there was no right answer. But it seems like it worked out. Yeah, we have everyone except for Clack. We gotta get Clack, but we have everyone else. We have. Is Neppy upset with you? Uh, I haven't. I haven't talked to her yet. Um, I was so sure that she was gone, um, and that the rift had closed up behind her. I, I have to talk to her, but I was so sure that she was gone. And then when I heard her voice again, I didn't know what to say. Um, Perhaps it was an act of faith. She does do that a lot. She does go on faith. But I no, think was... on your part. <laughs> your faith in her. Yeah. Um, I think if Yana wasn't down, I would have I would have gone into the rift after her. But I'm I sure you would have. <laughs> but I had to get Yana. I love Yana, so I had to. I'm glad. I'm so glad. You did well. Thank you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you too. The the people of Wolfreen. Oh, you all a great debt. Once again, though this time they may not fully understand. I do. I don't think I fully understand. I'm just following along, hitting what I need to hit. And they're yeah. lucky to have you. I'm lucky to have them. <laughs> you should get some rest. I will. I love you so much. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. I miss you. I'll talk to you soon. I miss you so much. I'll talk to you soon. All right. She'd like knock on the tent. She'd like knock. See if that worked. On the. Yeah, on the on the door. Yeah. On the door. Yeah, nothing happens. You can just go in when you want, but nothing happens. (laughs) (laughs) They've been told not to open the door. (laughs) You'd open the door and go in. Yep. And she'd sneak back into wherever Spooky was. We'll have a At- somber party. Neppy would likely, if she closed her eyes and saw the abyss, every time she probably wouldn't go to bed right away. Um, yeah, she'd probably be sitting up in front of, on like a couch or something, just like trying to calm herself. Um, 
Uh, actually, that's yeah. She'd do that for a bit, and then I think she'd pray. Probably. Okay. Um, I I don't have any spell slots left, so I can't cast commune or anything like that. Um, but Nepi would, as quietly as she could, set up a small ritual space um, okay. in her and Kokanee's room and light a bit of incense and um, I guess reach out. Make a religion check. Oh, that's good. Um, 28? 28. You, um, you kind of fall. Did you cast darkness? Or yes. Okay. Um, oh, I guess it's my tiefling ability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So you, uh, you kind of feel the darkness encircle you as you kind of sit in prayer. And you see fairly far away from you two kind of yellowish cat eyes familiar to you, kind of golden yellow, just sort of in the distance. So they kind of pad by you in your prayer. Thank you. Your grace. I did it. Everything in my life, every grace you have given me leading up to today, my, my prophecy that you granted me. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of everyone, allowing me to take care of everyone. But you know, I am so sorry the moment. In the moment that I thought that I would step away from you. I know you felt that. And I know if there is penance to be paid, I will, I will pay it. If I don't know the thought of following another goddess, I am ashamed that it crossed my mind. Thank you for your strength. I can't stop seeing it. So I ask for a bit of peace, if you would be willing to grant it to me so I can sleep, just for tonight, so we can be done with it. And they'll soon, please. Thank you. That would be it. So as your hands kind of rest on the ground, as you're kind of lying prostrate, you feel hands kind of on top of yours, trying kind of gently on the ground. As you kind of look up, the cat eyes you can see now are quite a bit closer. You can see kind of a cat-like face, but unlike before in the familiar cat form, this seems to be more humanoid-like. As you hear a voice, you can see the mouth, you can see outlines of it, but it doesn't seem to move. You just kind of hear a voice in your head. Rest, my child. As your darkness kind of fades away. Um, Nepi would 
climb into bed, I guess, and try to sleep. I will have you make a charisma saving throw at advantage. Ooh, okay. Twenty-two. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. For the time being, you're able to kind of center your mind and push the hallucinations away. Okay. And you are no longer, for now, suffering. You're able to get a long rest. Okay. All right. So everyone falls into a deep slumber, well-earned sleep, um, as you all come to consciousness in the morning. Um, you can kind of smell the the wafting of breakfast coming up to your various rooms um, as you all head down to the have breakfast together and start your day. Nice. Ah, uh, thank you, Ted. These oats are, all, as always, great. You really know Good. how to serve them raw. Good. Would you like anything else? I mean, I'd really love to hear your thoughts on basically everything, but I don't think we have time for that right now. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, what are you reading these days? And he comes back up. Uh, there's not a lot of books here. I find that surprising. Me too. <laughs> Oh my god. It's because Spooky has all her books on her at all times. That's true. All right. Thank you, Ted. Okay. He sinks back down to the ground. Hey, Ted. Sorry. Mm, one more yes. Thing. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, you just see his, like, his form kind of shudder a bit because he's like trying to comprehend this. I just give the house self a piece of clothing. <laughs> You could really serve me right now by telling me how I could serve you. Uh, uh, you are a servant, right? A good one, the way I yeah. understand. You yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't disappoint a guest like this, would you, Ted? Mm, uh, he's struggling to find the words <laughs> to say. As you see, his like his his kind of form is is flickering a bit and is kind of twitching. Uh, Ooh, I, wa I want out. <laughs> Speak more on that, Tim. I want out. Ted, Ted you want out? Out of I what? Here, this prison. I, am I here I for want... this conversation? <laughs> it's at the breakfast table. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but am I listening? <laughs> uh, you, I mean, you're all kind of sitting around. He's not trying to hide it. Yeah, it's just like drinking her coffee. <laughs> uh, I want out of the prison. I'll see what I can do about that, Ted. Keep the oats coming. Very well. And he's just like really bad. Can I, before he goes, do an uh, Eyes of the Grave? Uh, yeah, you do not sense any <laughs> undead. Okay, cool. <laughs> So Just Yana, again, in. he is the perfect version of what you want him to be. I, I don't get what you're trying to say here. Nothing. I'm just really coming to understand your aesthetic preferences. And I, wow, but they feel, are choices. I feel like you came along uh, after I stopped raising the dead like a fair bit. Uh, still a thing I do, by the way. Just like haven't had the taste for it recently. I don't know, but yeah, this is this is kind of my whole bit. <laughs> okay, cool. No, no, I, I dig it. I dig it. Ted is great. I feel like it's charming that he, you know, wants to be released from his eternal prison. Like that's it's really relatable. <laughs> like I feel like a lot closer to Ted. Yeah. So, so do we travel? To see yeah, today? Just point of order. What are we doing with our dragon? Like, we've got it. We've got to park that somewhere. I mean, I don't think we need to deal with it today. Maybe we should. I don't know. Like, do we just give those, like, hats, circlets, or whatever to, like, the giants and be like, have some fun with this? Hang on to it until later? Or. <laughs> uh, may maybe we Maybe we just find somewhere to park it for now. 
that's like a little out of the way. And then when we get back to Wolfreen, we can maybe fly it back there. We, right. we will have to come back here to after we reforge the Hand of Aya, um, the Orphea, mm-hmm. in the Forbidden Tomb. Uh, whatever that is, we can see it if we wish to, but that is for later. Um, but All right, should we just park the dragon somewhere really high and difficult to get to? Is um How far is, like, in percentage of distance, roughly from our travel before, Mm-hmm. To Felenis. Uh It would be a, a, a similar distance. Okay. It's probably, that's way too much then. Maybe a little shorter, but I mean, uh, it's a few weeks to Felenis yeah, on foot. That's... So flying. Perhaps at the Giants Village. Yeah. Something... If they are willing to look after it. Oh, yeah. We'll just write. It, it, Don't touch. Let... Let me be the the arms this time. I will write in giant, hey, it's letters. This is our dragon. You guys were great. Could you perhaps... Watch the dragon. Se- use sending to message Dresda Fat? Oh, yeah, of course. I totally prepared that this morning. Oh, uh, sorry. I get I get oat brain. Uh, you know, it's a very carby <laughs> breakfast. Um, one, uh, Dresda? Dresda. Yes. Oh, yeah, right on. Oh. All right. Hey, Dresda, it's letters. Take a, roll a D100, top or bottom, if you're in another plane. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're in the... Oh, we're in the no. Time, yeah. Fucking, of course I'm at. It's you only a 5% chance. It's only a 5% chance. You're okay. I'm going to be top, baby. Uh, 78? Yeah, you're fine. It goes through. Okay. Uh, what did I say? Hey, Dresda, it's letters. Great job. Bad guy, done. No more problems. We're gonna stash a robot dragon at your village, if that's cool with you. That's 25. Okay. Um, your message goes nothing, no response. Oh, that's sobering. What's wrong, Lettuce? Oh, Oh, she didn't pick up. Um, And it's not because I didn't step outside to take the call. Uh, Oh, gosh. Let's just park it on a mountain or whatever. Or like a garage in town. Like, (laughs) let's, we'll deal with that village in time. Uh, But we gotta, we gotta get rid of these lactoids as fast as possible. <laughs> there is um, something to consider if we do go to Centerfall. Mm-hmm. Um, the King's Cauldron is... There is a temple on the side of it. Um, a high priestess, uh, Thakoria, uh, she was at uh, Kamei and Kali's wedding reception, and she is the high priestess of the King's Cauldron on Centerfall. Um they worship Garrix, the fire primordial. So I, I don't know how open they are to outsiders. Um, I have known nothing of their practices of worship and if they will be uh, perhaps perturbed uh, with people throwing things in their volcano. Is there just the one on the island? Just the one volcano? Yes. It's a very large one. Are there any volcanoes at the Scar? Do I know any magma Mm. pits in town? No, the like, no, not in the Scar. Ah, lactoids are the worst. Uh, Okay, so we might we might have to do like a little fire uh, person politics. My only thought is that the in the Dawn War, um, Garrix was aligned with the Chained Oblivion, so. As I said, I know nothing of what goes on there, but we need to be on the defensive if we go, if we can get in and out and get rid of these quickly. Maybe, maybe 
Before we hide the dragon, could we try burning all of it with dragon breath? Would that be anything? This dragon fire? Yeah. I don't hate that idea. It's, I mean, while we have a dragon, before we go to a volcano. Dra- magical dragon fire. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's fly the dragon over. I mean, I've got some very fiery spells that we could try. Like, it's not magma hot, but I think you got immolation. Like, that burns stuff up real good. I, uh, I would I would guess that probably if dragon fire doesn't do it, that's... Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, good good point, Kokanee. Voice of reason, love that. All right, who wants to get disked? I mean, we got to be outside to do this. We got to be outside to do this. You can't make the call from inside the house. Yeah, we should go. Who wants to yes. disk this time? I keep being the breath, and I definitely want to be the head. Ah. <laughs> uh... um... I know. I will. Yeah. Well, here you take. Actually, I gotta. I gotta look at all that. That I gotta look at that gem. While you guys fly it over. Yeah. Who? Okay. Are, Callie, you love flying. You want to be the dragon? Yeah. It's um. Yep. Sure. Brad. Here you go, uh, Callie. Neppy. Here. Uh. <laughs> um. I. I appreciate the offer, Finnan, but I. My mind is not the strongest right now. I All right, should... I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll do it. <laughs> I, just, I mean, I will identify that diamond, but being a dragon is pretty rad. For short, short burst. <laughs> Long haul, it's not great. Not going to lie, the shine really comes off, but short burst is great. You guys are going to love this. Callie, you be in breath? Hey, Callie, you should ask uh, letters about the silent game. <laughs> <laughs> the silent Once game in there. The, the, I'm fucking, I'm gonna watch out. I'm gonna come back with a dragon. You're, I'm, gonna breathe. I'm gonna get y'all greasy. I'm not gonna set you on fire, but I will breathe his greasy breath all over. <laughs> Bring it on, home slice. I thought I was being the breath. Fuck! God damn it. Well, I'll point my face in your direction, and maybe some stuff will come out of my mouth. You're the body, my friend. Should I'm we all hand. go outside to no, await your arrival? Oh, fuck, I don't know how this dragon works. Yes, please. Yeah. All right. Like, we all go outside. I we imagine. all go outside uh, and don the circlets. And as your vision kind of comes up, we're actually going to take a quick break right now. We're going to take an early break. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would like to say before I go, I say, hey, Ted, and this is an order, take it easy. He's like right up against the like precipice <laughs> of the door. He's like. I love it. I I'm hate so that. I, I hate that so much. I hate that. We're gonna take a quick break now. Okay, we'll see you shortly, guys. guys. Bye.
was it going to be Adam or Lennon? Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. I somehow just drank water so hard it went up my nose. I didn't. I didn't know I could do that. I mean, seemed all the like tubes a, are connected. Seemed like a real standard water drink I just did, but just goes to show, no matter how high your proficiency, you can always roll a one. What do you, Sean? What What do Wise you think words. if you had if you had to estimate your proficiency in water drinking uh, numerically? Dude, it's at least an eight. Like I have what? expertise in water. What's drinking. that? Say, like, a is it related eight? to? Is it a con? Well, it's like, are you it's chugging dex. it? This is his dex. Yeah. Wisdom? Like, it's mouth, everyone it's know mouth dexterity. It <laughs> should be wisdom, though. Like, how do you drink the water, right? Yeah, just like general water drinking, definitely dex. Adam, you're muted. It's chugging, obviously intelligence. Gone. No, I, th- I think it's wisdom. I think it's, it's got to char- be wisdom. It's charisma. Wisdom. It's not charisma because it's- I'd be way better at drinking water if it was charisma, but I'm not, and I'm <laughs> Guys, bad at it. Watch me muscle this water with strength. Oh, strength. <laughs> just, just get it. Hey, if we're talking about chugging, that's something different. That's that's con. That's got. That's be con. That's con. Yeah, that's con. Yeah, yeah. that's con. Uh, all right, uh, Adam is gone again. <laughs> he was back, and now he's gone again. No, I'm here. Hi. Oh, you're good. Just no video. Um, mesh. Uh, okay. So, um, as you step out, um, you kind of come to this similar kind of battlefield is still mostly rubble. Um, however, you do see um, there are a few people um, you kind of see kind of scrambling through the, the wreckage or the rubble and they look over and they immediately kind of dart into the alleyway as you all step out. People? Like how many? Uh, you just make a perception check. Am I still at disadvantage? Uh, yes. Okay. As you kind of step out, you see this sort of dual image of like the rift kind of behind you um, and the eye of Thera's Dune kind of flashes. Okay, I'm going to hold my holy symbol and cast guidance on myself. Uh, Oh, wow, I needed that. Uh, Yeah, that's like a 13. So maybe two people kind of scramble by. Well, we're we're not alone in the city. That's... Good. They were human people, like non-demon mm-hmm. people. Yeah, they look like yes. humans. Do they look I, violent I, at all? Are they weapons? Or they, they, look were, like... they look terrified as they ran away. They were as running. they should. <laughs> Perhaps um, while we decide quickly or what to do, um, I should call Seven also and let them know um, that things are all right. Um, I'm going to cast Sending to Seven. Okay. Hello. Hope you're all right. And Dag as well. Velsum defeated. Rift closed. Please be safe in your travels. I hope we meet again. Blessings, friend. You're back. I assume so, when the sky changed. Dag and I have met up. We've already left. Thank you again. Hopefully we'll connect again. Seven and her friend Dag are alive. They are out of the city. So... You also hear... uh, uh, I owe you all one. Uh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We will collect that. Who wants to be a dragon? We all have to do this at the same time. We learned this the hard way. Don't take off the hat unless we all do a three, two, one, or you get so tired. Ready? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. Swooshy. All right, so you all attune to your circlets. Um, oh. Or you would have I, probably in the morning beforehand. Before we do this whole process, then I would have removed the pants and taken them and the bag and given them to Nepetra. Okay. Uh, you are unable to remove the pants. Mm. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, I tried no. to remove well, the pants. That Let's happened. Rewind you, that. You you go to <laughs> yeah. do it, and you like as you kind of 
pull up your shirt to see the pants meld into your skin. I like, are they gone? Can we see them? No, they are uh, attached to They're her body. Part of my skin. This this has happened before, has it not? Not uh, quite like this. No. I don't think it no, happened before this intensely. I could get them off. This time I think they're my legs. Where, where do they come up to? This is this is tell me when. Like kind of like they like, you can see that like there it is normally kind of like a, a solid um, kind of band around. It now kind of like it has kind of a ridged quality and melds in just below the kind of belly button. Oh wow. Okay, right up at the waist. Uh that's happened to me with sweatpants before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like this is a last resort, but Yana, you died in the last 24 hours and we brought you back and I think we can still do that. We could do the old take the pants and her legs as one part, the rest of Yana the other, which would kill her, pop some diamonds in her, bring her back and we only get the good half. Uh, uh, letters were not cutting me in half. I just hey, look, died yesterday. We're wizards. We love magic. That's a classic. Cut somebody in half. Um, let us. No. To be fair, Am you I wouldn't wrong? Be, Am I wrong? You yeah. wouldn't be the one responsible for bringing her back. But I could I cut her in half. That's the important part. I think you're missing the point. But Kelly? look, like I said, last resort. It's on the table. Let's come up with better options. We have the floor. We have the basement. Let's build a ceiling. Can I um? Sorry, I just took in what you said there. <laughs> uh, can I like look at Yana's legs to see like like can I like magically try to figure out if this is like a spell? Uh, you, mm, do you have detect magic? Like, are you? No, I just want to look with my eyes. <laughs> can I cast you can detect magic. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are magical. Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, check out a spell slot, loser. <laughs> uh, yeah, you detect the same magic as before. Um, it's something you're familiar with. Uh, you can make an arcana check with your eyes if you like. Me? Mm -hmm. I'm oh. gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make an arcana check with my eyes. I'm gonna place a hand on you. Can you have guidance for that? Okay, dokey. It's a plus a d4. Hell yeah, it is. Can I help her? Like I, I'm looking at my own pants. I you have proficiency in Arcana. I do. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. So what does that mean? Advantage. You, know, advantage. you have advantage. Advantage. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> nice. Okay. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Um, you could tell they're magical. Um, you can also tell that uh, um, from what you know of them, you you admittedly don't know a lot about these pants like you know a little bit about the history of them and how they were created um and you're fairly confident that they're a phylactery um so you assume like they have uh, grown in power or changed somehow um and you're but you're you're not sure exactly why as you're not exactly sure when it happened Okay. Um, Spooky. Uh, can I? No, you finish your thought. This will uh, keep. Can I? Can I try something? Can what I? You, what are you gonna try? Um. I can. Um. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um. But I can try like cleansing touch to see if it'll disconnect from your legs. I'm not sure if it'll work though. Yeah. Cleansing touch. A try. So she'd touch you and ca uh, cast See, cleansing, cleansing touch. touch. Just the level 14, does. level 14 paladin ability. There we are. Uh, you can end one spell on yourself or another willing creature that you touch. Um, you kind of lay your hands on it, um, but it does not seem to change the uh, the attachment of the pants to her body. They seem to have, they're like, they're like leggings, but now they're also like her. Legs. Mm -hmm. Jeggings, they're jeggings now. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, here's a thought. I don't really know how lactoids generally work, but if we got the two in the bag, like elsewheres, and this is the one that's still like connected to a person and they're what bring people back, is it possible that Yanni is just becoming a new Velsum? Like, are the pants Velsuming you? From what I remember Nissa saying, I, I can't imagine that being connected to a phylactery is good in any sense. And this is not something we've seen with the pants before. Um, the last time this happened, uh, Yana simply couldn't take the pants off until Finnin uh, was able to remove the curse. But, and then she was able to take the pants off, but they were consistently uh, attuned. She was consistently attuned to them. Um, but now it seems she can neither unattune to them or take them off. Should we start calling you spooky legs? I don't think this is the time for that, Finnin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> trying to keep it light. You're both right. You're both right. It is not the time for that, but that is fucking great, Finnin. Uh, that'll catch on in time. Now's not the time, but... Um, it, I wonder if it... Because when Velsum... He, he is dead, um, but in the sense that only liches can be dead for so long, we have a very limited amount of time, I reckon, uh, based on what Nissa said. Um, about when we can get, he will, if we don't get rid of those three objects, he will come back. So what I'm curious about, because it's very possible that just being close to the other phylacteries has grown this one in power, which is why it's attached to her. Um, I see it as, as essentially two ways, which is if we throw the other two in a volcano, this one either becomes less powerful or, more. or a bunch of power moves from the other ones into those pants. And I um, don't know which one is the answer. Oh, yes. What if... No, I don't know. I could... Like... I could call Velvari and see if there is any information in our library about how to destroy a phylactery. Them. Well, I mean, he I just feel... drops like small amounts of lava on the outside and just like burn away the exterior of the leggings. I actually might make it so that lava not a problem for you. Let me let me see what I got in the books here. Let me. I know it's a like thing a little dunk. about fire. <laughs> but if the pants are part of me, you're right. We would need to cut you in half and throw the bottom. <laughs> I don't into, like that uh... idea. Perhaps Look, he's I don't like to... it either. I'm the one who'd have to cut you in half. You think that's nice for me? Can Bye. I? Can I? Um, going over to Yana. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna explain the check I want to use and what I'm hoping to get out of it. But you can obviously correct me or nay say no. Um, I would like to use my ability with like the divine with religion. Mm-hmm. to see if there is a way that I can discern if, like, she is becoming corrupted by the chained oblivion. Like, this would be something, in essence, like we've seen the faith forged of the chained oblivion with, like, Nebi knows of them in her history, Zespiria. Is this what is attempting, like, a start mm. of something happening here to see if I can help? Uh I would say then it's a history check if you're trying to see if it's similar, if you're trying to recall if it's similar to what yeah. you read about okay. the Forged. Can I help okay. her with that? Wait, I'm mm, oh. I don't know that you would know anything about it. I am professional in history, though. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll allow it in your sort of like general like knowledge of magical workings. But... So this would be just a straight roll? Technically, because I'm at yeah. disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. I can cast guidance on myself. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, no, that's okay. Mm, history? Uh, that's a plus uh, 14, 17. 17. You're like the documentation on, on 
the faith forge that you have is pretty sparse at best. Okay. Like the knowledge of it, it's not something that's like a widely known thing. It's like right. there has been a couple and the one you're most familiar would have been um, Zesperia. And, and Asilis. Then, and Asilis. And even Asilis you didn't really learn about until recently. Yeah. Um, and, and like the, that other high priestess, Grixori. Yeah, yeah, the look that they had displayed right. differently. Right. Um, those both kind of had chain iconography. Um, and neither of them, none of them, as far as you know, were connected to an item um, uh, outside of, you're not totally sure with Zesperia if it was connected to the the um the blades are not right um so you're you're unsure i'm sorry spooky i i don't know have we have we tried to spell magic on them no let me give it a shot dispel magic liberty okay. uh uh it you know me hungry for magic as always. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so as you go to cast it, it does not seem to have an effect. Uh, well, does, you, can, sorry, you go ahead. Yeah. Have, sorry, Neppy, have you used Remove Curse before? Is that something that you can do? Can I can. Or could. Mm, no, that was a Dave spell. Ah, right. Sorry. I, uh, I did prepare it. Let me just double check what it does here. I thought we might get to this point. Um, let me double check the ability. Sorry, can I just take a pause to reflect on the fact that I'm sitting with a lot of my friends and they're trying to devise how to get my pants off. It's also, a very also weird experience. <laughs> I gotta give a shout out to Cody who had the, the funniest thing. He just messaged me, have you tried turning the pants on and then turning them back on again? <laughs> off and on. I'm the old off pants. And on. Yes. Reboot. Classic. Oh my god, I can dispel magic. I didn't know that. <laughs> um oh shit. I can also remove curse. Sorry. We're- <laughs> Kelly's <laughs> just thinking into herself. <laughs> she can do both of those things. Y- yes, I can. I can try. Here, come here. It worked last time. Um, Finnan, when you did this last time, did you touch the pants themselves, or did you just hold Spooky? I genuinely don't remember. Right. I'm going to. I'm kind of surprised you don't remember. You remember things better than I do. What if you like hold her ankles and like dip her and also hold her neck? The the, the thing I worry about <laughs> is if I every time I close my eyes, um, I see the abyss. I can't stop it. So I I think I'm, I just touched oh, her. You're like connected. Um. Yes. I'm touching her and you touch me. No. Ka- Callie, are you able to I try can... to cleanse Nepenthe? Yeah, I can try that. I can also, I can also uh, remove curse from Yana. But yeah, she'd reach out and like she'd grab both of your shoulders and try um, cleansing touch. Mm-hmm. Uh... If it doesn't work now, one day it will work. Yeah, one day. <laughs> If you use it, if you use it in every scenario, eventually it'll. Every time, it's like every hey, time. Let me try and cleanse you. It's the <laughs> palette's <laughs> version of guidance. <laughs> let me just check one second. There's like a knight in the road, and you just walk up, and you're like, "Let me just check before we fight." Cleansing touch. Are we good? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I'm gonna say it is not enough. Uh, da, 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 da. Although, because you can end a sp- now, it's ending a spell effect. This is a bit different. It's a hell effect. It's, what yeah, if? Madness. Very good. What if? Hold on. Give me a second. I don't think it will do anything to me. I mean, it might, but um, I'm happy to try and remove the curse. I can't guarantee it'll work. 
I can I can also remove curse if it's probably safer. I yeah, think, I think that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Let's okay. let's do that. Let's have Callie remove the curse. In failing that, let's pick up a, a course of action and just do it. Mm-hmm. Because I find that we have lately been talking ourselves into circles, hmm. humming and hiring and being panicked about every possible outcome. And uh, myself guilty as well. But what I've learned over the past couple of days is inaction is is worse than than an action that might lead to some unforeseen circumstance. While we talk around in circles, clack is in the elemental plane of Earth, and we're wasting time. Good point. Let's fucking slap a remove curse on this, and then we go to the a fucking volcano, and hopefully it makes it less powerful. If it's more powerful, we'll deal with that, because the chop is still on the table. Um, sure. You know, we'll see. Oh my I god, I, th- I thought you said shop. No, not the no, shop. Not, unless it's a big it knife like, store. It seems like you might need to stop at. It seems like Callie's in favor of the chop letters. It seems like you're slowly getting people I'm, on your I'm side. Not, I'm not in favor of the chop. Um, I just well, brought well, Spooky back. I'd rather not have to do it again. Like not. Neither would I. You better remove curse real good. And re-grow grow my legs also. I can yeah, do no, that. No. What if yeah. they come oh, with really little legs? It's just, we're I, two let's, spells let's away, get the, guys. Let's, let's get the curse off. Spells away from okay. magician, like, it's a classic. It's a number one, it's a golden oldie. In fact, we should get people, look, just remove the curse. We'll see what happens. Okay, Callie's going to cast uh, remove curse then. Okay. You, uh, as you cast remove curse, um, you see the, like, uh, the fabric kind of pulls back down into the band um, as the pants kind of loosen off of her legs. Take them off. Take them off. <laughs> okay. Um, as you kind of take them off, you can see um, the uh, like the yellow pinstripes that had appeared on them when they were awoken. Um, that was the last time, like when you uh, yeah. were in that temple. Um, those fade to white as you take them off. What does that mean? Who knows? I... But they're they're off. Mage hand. G- give me a hot second. Give me a hot second. I want to identify these pants. I feel like the magic may have left the pants, and now it's just in you. You removed the curse on the pants, but the magic is within you. You're the lactoid now. I know this sounds like immediate, but it's going to take me 11 minutes. So talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Well, he while he's doing that, me, Callie, and um, Finn, and I guess I'll fly the the dragon. Put it away. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to not fly it. That's fine. Okay. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. What to do so, with these pants? Are they evil? Sorry. Uh, they still appear. Um, you you uh, identify they still appear to have some magic to them, um, but uh, they are no longer awoken. Um, and they kind of have gone back to a baseline level of magic. Ah. That... I don't know the significance of that, but I share it. That's good. Oh, great. I think that's good. Um, cause, because when they awoke, um, we, blood was spilled in the uh, desecrated temple that we found, uh, and they went to this. So for them to go backward, that's that feels good. Unless the magic isn't spooky, but we will deal with that when we deal with that. Let's get the dragon here, and then let's go. Yep. Yeah. So we, we fly the dragon to the caves that the giants live, and then we okay. scratch into the ground with a claw. We come get this later. As you open your eyes in the dragon, yeah. there is just like mostly dead giants around you. Oh. There is maybe three kind of wandering around. Um, you can see kind of like picking through what's left, but there is just carnage. Um, God. And the like the dragon itself, uh, as you begin to kind of take flight, you can tell it's it's taken some damage as well. Does it look like the giants were killed by just demons, or does it look like the giants were killed by demons and also birds? Uh, m- uh, make a make roll a for, roll for pecking perception check. Roll for bird. Check? Roll for roll for bird. Roll, roll for, for bird. Guys, what's your bird? That's, bird that's by Hitchcock. Modifier. That's by Hitchcock, right? Roll for Hitchcock. My bird modifier is so high. My dice was somewhere else. <laughs> We don't roll dice. We don't roll dice here. We don't roll dice here. Uh, 28. 
28. Um, yeah, it looks like as you kind of get a better look, um, you can see there are a number of dead demons kind of interlocked, kind of in fighting positions, but you can also see the giants also looked ripped up um, by like small kind of cuts and um, you can see some of their eyes have been pecked out. Um, it looks like both. It would seem the Matron of Vengeance uh, couldn't quite identify good from bad. Looks to be that way. Mm. This, we shouldn't take this on ourselves. Let's fly the dragon. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, you're able to kind of like move through the air. Um, you can, you, you sense it's difficulty of like, uh, like it's been pretty banged up, but you're able to kind of fly it um, where you need to, which is? Giant's caves. Yeah. Giant's caves, okay. So you fly it back to the camp where you found them. Um, takes you, it takes you the better part of the day to do that. Okay, different place then. It's going to take the better part of a day. Yeah, it's somewhere can, high and hard to get to. Yeah. Um, the closest would be would be the kind of edges of the mountain range uh, on the other side of the bay, and even that is like it's going to be at least six hours. Can can letters teleport us while we are in the dragon? Um. I can definitely teleport your bodies. We didn't hear any of that. We didn't hear any of that. <laughs> um, don't we have to be willing? Can we I, be willing and be in I'm the I'm willing. Guys, I know so little about what I do they require do. your verbal consent. So if you're unconscious, then that can't happen. <laughs> Again, hearing none of this. It's just... No, I think it's just important for everyone to hear. Consent um, is important. <laughs> Um, I th- no, I, I can transport the dragon wherever I want it, or us, but not. I both. think I think that we have an hour. Where is the best place we can put it in an hour? What if we just bury ourselves in sand? Is that a bad idea? For that's an actually, hour. That's a good idea. That seems like a really good idea, actually. That's what you do in the desert. Yeah. Why don't we go what to if- the pit? Why don't we go to that pit? Bury ourselves under all those bodies. Uh, that's as far as the giant's caves. Yeah, I believe. What if we just oh, find? Is, what if, is there like a dune near us or a dip that we can bury yeah. ourselves in for an hour? So yeah, I've seen. As you go outside, of the are there dunes? In the in the Wait, in so it's <laughs> it's taking us almost as long to fly to the giant's cave as it took us to fly from the volcano. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you, you guys were traveling through the yeah, you guys were traveling through the through the mountain ranges on spiders, and they were uh, flying nonstop. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's let's uh let's bury ourselves in some sand. Let's, do let's do bury it. ourselves in sand. Callie, let's uh let's make like a sand spider. So it doesn't take you as long as it did from Cinderfall, but it still takes you like. They took you two days to fly nonstop. Mm-hmm. It Kelly still takes won- you basically the better part of a day to get to where the giants live. Callie okay. so badly wanted to take off her circlet there when you said that, but she didn't. But she wanted to. <laughs> That's growth. I'm so proud of you. Uh, we we bury ourselves and we get back to to teleporting. Okay, make uh, make a, a, sur- a survival check. Can I make it? I, uh, I am the body. <laughs> yeah, you can use the. Can yeah. I assist? Oh, we use the dragons. Uh, this is you guys doing your best, kind of working together. To can I? Can I direct? So you can assist. You can assist. You can. Yeah. Okay. Cause she. Cause what? What are you? You're the the the. You're just the breath, right? She can I tell you what to do. Yeah, I'll just. No, tell I know, but I'd do. rather use hers because mine <laughs> would be bad. <laughs> it's, it's terrible because both of ours are super good. It's um, so good. Like, yes. <laughs> We're both excellent at survival, but you've got this, Finnan. Do I? Yeah. You've buried stuff before. <laughs> oh, Same concept. Like all your feelings about your dad. I have proficiency. <laughs> wow. As you say that, I get a, a dirty 20 because I have proficiency in survival wow. trying to survive yeah. my dad. Yeah. So I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm very really deep into the yeah. sand. Takes oh. five, five points of psychic damage. <laughs> Uh, I'll take it. I'll take the five points instead. It's like you know, it's it's a little bit of a bloody nose. Um, so yeah, you managed to, to bury it very emotional. Cut. 
deep dunking. I mean, like, I mean, like, same man. My my dad's dead and in our bag, so, like, I get it. Because he's but, an object now. Yeah. Wow. Um, so yeah, you managed to bury it. Eggs really well. Out of sight. I don't know if I want to murder my dad. I just he's a bit of a dick. I'll uh yeah I'll I'll let you I'll let you know that no matter how much of a dick it's 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 still not fun. Anyway. That's why I have you, Kokanee, new dad. <laughs> Please don't say that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's get the drag. Let's go yeah, teleport yeah, yeah, to tele- lava. Yeah. Right. All right. So you uh, rendezvous with the rest of them um, as you're all kind of standing there. Did I see the volcano while we were tele- while we were flying over? I mean, I feel like I probably you would have seen the edge of the caldera, but the the dragon was at the bottom of the. Well, I'm not going to teleport us into the volcano, but I would love to get to that caldera. Would you Give say it. that I'm familiar or no, you've seen it? I have seen distance. it casually. All right, babies. If you if you smoke them, if you got them, we're going somewhere in Cinderfall. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Somewhere in Cinderfall. I cast guidance on letters. I don't know if it'll do anything, but I can assure you it won't. Oh. <laughs> This is this the time I should use yeah, cleansing touch. Definitely cutch? seen casually. <laughs> okay, well, let's just boys, try cleansing touch. That was a twenty-five and zero to thirty-three is what we call a mishap. So we might be going in the volcano. Hell yeah, dude! It does solve the oh, mess. Callie, Callie, it's now time for cleansing touch. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I can, I can, I'm really. I can cleanse two people. Who wants to be cleansed? <laughs> I'm gonna oh, cleanse my new character real next quick. Day, guys. Please let DM Dad take us through this. What happens? So as you uh, you all kind of uh, stand uh, next to each other, uh, you feel yourself start to kind of phase as the like surrounding area kind of shifts around you. That's a different kind of feeling than plane shift. This is like you feel your body almost vibrate. Um, and as you like feel yourself that your vision kind of goes to this sort of whitish blue um, as you kind of, uh, as you reappear, um, you uh, you have a sensation of uh, falling immediately. Um, as you fall, uh, you are also hit by this intense wave of heat no. and it is pitch black. Um, those of you with dark vision, um, you can see uh, like um, kind of dark rock around you um, as well as a number of like stalagmites um, as you are falling, uh, you fall about 20 feet. Um, uh, so you all take eight points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. Uh, as you land in uh, this cavern you kind of look around and you can see uh, you, there are no sources of light at the moment, um, but it is very odd. You're like, it, it's uncomfortable. It's not to the point where you're like, you are taking damage, but you are, it's, it's like stiflingly hot. It's That's like light. being in the sauna. So you kind of, Ugh. you light up. Um, you can saunas. see kind of a large, uh, um, kind of dark rock cavern. Um, and you can see that like, um, above you, um, the ceiling kind of like comes to sort of a peak and then, um, comes down and on either side, there is a tunnel. We're in a volcano. (laughs) Yeah. We're in the volcano. We're in a volcano, I assume. It's very hot. I, I turn my light off once Kokney casts his light. <laughs> All right. Or it was my not bright enough. Or not bright enough. Um, so we basically have, we're in, a, we're, in a, we're in a place and there's tubes in either yeah, direction? Kind of like this. And yeah, and there's tubes in either direction. Does it look like this has been burned recently? Um, like, like, is this a lava flu? <laughs> Is there going to be hot lava? Make a nature check. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to cast guidance on myself. With that Me one. and Kelly didn't know. Nope, lava I have no before. idea. I've mm-hmm. only seen a volcano from a distance. Did yeah. you say that out loud? That 
I would go, is this a lava flu? Oh, I've never been in a volcano before because we didn't have one in the scars. We've established this episode. I don't know what those look like from the inside. Uh, either way, it's very hot. I don't think we want to be here for a long time because we're no. boiled it, to death. Is it, is it flat or is it like a downward sort of thing? It is fairly flat. Um, there is a bit of a slope. Um, there is a slope that kind of goes downwards sort of directly ahead of you kind of slopes downward just slightly and then uh, out, behind you um same kind of thing that the slope continues up a little ways uh if, out or in uh yeah in. guys out or in I think, out. Need to get to out. I think i think out out and, out. and, then, and, then, and then up we can always out. go back that's true that's hey, true. Out, 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 out 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 up the up the, yep, the fling out. okay okay so you head up the tunnel. Um, you go for what feels like a while um, as you continue to traverse. Um, after about an hour, um, the the tunnel begins to kind of bend to the right. Um, and as you come around the corner, you can see there is um, a large, um, the stone here has been carved. Um, you can see a kind of a large archway um, and there are two like massive metal doors that have been bent um, and pushed inwards or towards you um, and like uh, like kind of blown open. Is there writing on the doors? Uh, make a perception it, check. Okay. Or if it's an in investigation. Dr if it's in Draconic, I can read it. Um Oh, that's in... still at disadvantage. No. no. Uh, yeah, it's difficult to tell. The metal is like pretty busted up. Okay. Um, you can't really tell. If, what could have? Do we go through? Well, uh, whatever, whatever fucked up those doors went the way we came. So I feel like the yes is we are going the right way, right? Perhaps it's something better blown in. Like towards you, like something came from towards the other side. Yeah. Oh no! Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's we're going burst this way, through and kept that going way. down. Yeah, it yeah, kept going down. So we yeah, we are assumedly up. moving away from that crit. Whatever did that? Yeah, I love that. I mean, it might be some sort of uh, lava prison, and it broke out. But this we'll could see. be that's also wild the, conjecture. This Sorry, could be go part ahead. of the temple of the king's cauldron, also, maybe. Planet's seen better days. Let's, let's head ahead. Oh, I'd be sweating, but I'm physically incapable of it. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't have those glands that you guys do. <laughs> Real jealous right now. Uh, as you pass by, um, the like kind of comes through the door, um, you come to a small platform um, and you can see the like the floor drops out into a fairly large chasm. You're not, you can't see the bottom of it with your. Um, with your dark vision, um, but there are a number of uh, uh, discs kind of floating along. There's probably about six of them all the way to the other side, which is about 120 feet away. You can see another platform similar to yours. Floating discs over a chasm. Mm -hmm. Stone mm -hmm. discs. Do we just want to fly across? Mage armor. Mage armor. Mage armor. <laughs> I miss Clack. Me too. Uh, me too. Mage armor. Don't even fucking try. Do we yeah. want to fly across? My worry is that if there is a magical anti-magic ah. across the middle, we'll drop. I shoot an Eldritch Blast across the way. Sails across. What if I, I don't just, think there is one. What if I just fly over the discs? And then... There's about 10 feet between each one. So then I mean, there's I... just 10 feet of... Maybe we'll drop. I and got then... fly. They're ready. We can just do the old fairy fairy. Right? Like, and let's do this. Ready? Okay. Wait! Investigation. <laughs> Anything that might be like arrows that shoot fly boys, a big net, just like a <laughs> big bucket check. full of goo that might pour on us if we open a door wrong. Fuck, it's a two. That's an 11. I rolled okay. it. I'm, yeah, it looks good to me. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pretty dark it like you can see the the ceiling is probably about 30 feet up and you're having a hard time kind of making there's a number of stalactites 
um, kind of. How big are these discs? They're probably about ten feet in across. They're how far? Large. How far down? I'm not sure how far they, uh, how far down it goes. You can't see the bottom. I'm gonna try something because if I if I fall, I can fly. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let, let let me just see. Let me just play by the discs rules, and we can always fall back on flying. And let me just try. Let me just try jumping over them. Okay, make an acrobatics check to jump. Hell yeah! Oh, rolling hot tonight. Uh, he said sarcastically. Uh, acrobat. Oh, okay, seventeen. 17. Um, you jump across and kind of land. You don't quite land in the very center and you feel the whole thing begin to sort of tip towards you as the weight kind of comes off Ooh. its balance. Um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh! Oh, not today. Oh, ho, 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 but who's got brain power? <laughs> I forgot that's what I do. Are you concentrating on a spell? I'm not, but I get brain power anyway. Okay, okay good, good, um, good. Uh, uh, that's going to be 17 because I'm flexing my brain. How's that okay. sound? You, uh, you just managed to kind of like grab on, but it's like fairly flat and you are still sliding. There's nothing to really kind of like, it's worked stone. What's beneath Import him? Uh, it's just open. It's just a chasm that goes down for, you know, not sure how far. Important bit of thing. As I flex my brain this time, I flex real hard. Something about that that Bigby's hand having to flex through realities changed something in my brain chemistry. Because now when I flex, lightning shoots out of my brain and like zaps the uh, the uh, just things nearby me. I go, oh god, and I'm gonna cast fly and be like, fuck this. Yeah, you fly as the disc kind of like. Okay, I see what I see what these discs are selling, and I am not buying it. Uh, Oh, I fly there. Does anything shoot me or whatever? Uh, no, as you see, like you, Finnan, you would see this with your passive perception, and Nepi, you would see this too. As the lightning kind of streaks across and illuminates part of the cavern, you can see along the walls um, and now in the ceilings as well, you can see there are a number of uh, like what look like they might have been um, holes, but have been like destroyed. It looks like they've been blasted with something. Um, as it's just like there's just like a line of uh, kind of destroyed stone along the sides of the cavern um, and you can see up in the ceiling it looks fairly similar as well like something has destroyed whatever so like those were something's been through here and purposefully destroyed whatever those were mm. nice does it look recent uh you're not exactly sure you can make an no you, you wouldn't know yeah. kind of with the stone you sure. know who would you know who would? Clack. Clack. You probably would, yeah. Fuck. Fuck dude. All right, Callie, let's 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 do the the the, the flary, the fly. Are you fairy. are you are you casting fly on me? Or don't am you I have wings? My wings? Isn't that your yeah. Do thing? we want me to use my wings? Yeah. Okay. I'll <laughs> use my wings. I'm not sure. You've casted fly on me before when we do this. I'm oh, sorry. Um, you were the one who suggested the fly. Look. Okay. Yeah. You're okay. Casting no, your no, 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 no. I think really hard <laughs> about raven wings coming out yeah, of my but... back nothing happened it's a good thought <laughs> um it's a good thought though i cast radiant soul when my wings come out sweet oh god she's so radiant oh yeah Time yes. to look at it's her. like lightning and sparkly <laughs> love it yana first because she's the the tiniest yes we so yeah you fly yana across and as you get to the other side, you can now see um, there is another metal door that also looks to be twisted and, and blown inward. We hate that. You know, it's funny. Today I prepared knock, but I didn't prepare feather fall. I really got those <laughs> two switched around. <laughs> anyway, let's get the rest of our team. Yeah. Yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try out some new boots and just jog across. Okay. Yeah, you, oh. you managed to stride across no problem. Oh, that's so fucking classic kokanee. What a it flex. really is. What a, like, really on brand. Uh, Wait, I feel like I missed these okay. boots. Are these? Oh, yeah, the Air Strider boots. Um, check them out on Dungeon Scribe. Yeah, uh, go to Dungeon Scribe uh, on Dungeon Instagram. Scribe. Look at them. Tell them that we sent you and that we think that they're really cool. And yeah, they make are, they, awesome content. are they your dad's boots? They are my dad's yes. boots. Uh, 
So you all manage to get across and you come to the, uh, you can see beyond this chamber, um, there is another uh, much smaller chamber and there does not look to be another door. Uh, oh, fuck. Ooh, look at this chamber we're in. Wow. I go into the chamber. I'm feeling lucky. Um, Callie would follow I behind him. I float into the chamber. Okay. <laughs> Cal- off the ground. Callie okay. would fly behind him. Just okay. To- so as you kind of float in, um, you can see, uh, like, the, as you go in, you can see directly above you, it is like a shaft that goes up about 60 feet. That seems like our thing. Real quick wizard watch just to make sure there's there's no goop at the top of the trap that's going to splash down on us and get us all goopy. Okay, make Great. Make an investigation check. That's a, that's a 18. 18 on the goop check? Yeah. Goop check. Um, you can see uh, there are, uh, like, do you just do it kind of where you are? Or do you fly up the... I'll, I'll like, check out the whole shaft. Because okay. um, that's the way out. And I'm going to... Just before you get to the top, um, you can see that there is, like, a line of, of draconic runes across the wall. I speak so you draconic. Sort of, uh, you can see it is, um, it, it is a spell of some kind. Um, mm you are not exactly sure. Uh, actually, make an Arcana check. You might, yeah, you might I might be that. sure, because wizard. Come on, roll above a 10. That's another three, that's a 12. Not yeah, today, say Not exactly sure, but you can tell there is some kind of uh, spell that does seem active etched into the wall. I'm not gonna take a chance to spell magic. Okay, yeah, just uh, what level? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm-hmm. All right. We're ready. Uh, yeah, so uh, Dispel Magic is a third level. You're casting third, third that's level. right. Okay, so I need you to make a uh, Natty 17, check. yeah, plus just, whoosh, fades out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was so Can hungry after I couldn't dispel that magic earlier. Yeah, and then all the way up to the top, we're safe. Mm-hmm. Yep. You can all see, all right, there. sweet. I got well, you go as you come up. You can see there is another door, um, similar kind of blasted inwards. I got about five minutes left on this uh, this fly. Let's uh, let's do it. Mm-hmm. Your wings last for eleven minutes, right? Eleven minutes. Cool. And my fly uh, lasts for ten. Nice. So you're able I'm to. I'm one minute better than others. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> I um, believe it's about quality of flight, not quantity of it. <laughs> so that I am better too, because. I mean, I can fly twice as fast as you. So and and introduce other people to the joy of flying, but you know you can just do yourself. But it's not a competition. It's not. We can both fly, and that's good for both of us. Um, I can fly also a lot per day, and I mean, you can only do the one I, per day, but it's I, not a competition. Shall I, we go up? I can't fly, and you guys are both very impressive. Super. Such you all managed one. to uh, get up. Um, you come into another um, kind of medium-sized chamber. Um, this one, you can see there is a um, a large kind of uh, gap between sides. There's probably about 30 feet across um, that goes down probably about 20 feet. You can see there is a kind of a river of uh, magma that kind of flows through it. You also see a number of um, dead, uh, you actually recognize them. You've, some of you have seen these from the Black, the Battle at the Gatestone Keep. You see, um, there are six dead fire salamanders. Um, their oh. their corpses, kind of, some on this side, some on the other side of the gap. Oh, were those were those on our side or on the other side? Other side. Other side. Other side. Mm. Fire elemental. Um, what do they? Can I do a quick check on them to see what they look like? They got killed by. Uh, sure. Make a medicine check. Cast guidance on myself because this is at disadvantage. Okay, okay. Uh, plus ten, plus two. Uh, so that's going to be a twenty-four. Twenty-four. Um, you can see some of them look like they have been uh, like 
torn apart by claws. They look like they've been dead for a little while, not terribly long, but a little while. Um, and you can see that uh, you see two of them look to have what appears to be bullet holes through them. Oh. That's sick. These ones have been shot. Wasn't me. I assume not, Tony. I'm in the <laughs> kitchen. But uh, <laughs> perhaps perhaps your father? Um, they came through here when they took the king's ruby. The, uh, the uh, seal that was here. That's oh. what I think happened here. The king's eye. Yeah. The, uh, king's eye, sorry. I think that's what happened here. Your, your father. Oh, cool. So the mystery is solved. We can just <laughs> blow up the thingies, the whole carcasses, I still think we should be calling them. Just very thematic and scenes, right? I feel like we calling could call them war them... is not necessarily accurate. And also, like, you know, comparing him to, like, you know, the world's oldest profession is kind of rude to them. Yeah, like, like, whole, like Warfrost. He was very cold and... and... <laughs> So Look, are we gonna throw? I think we've what did you think I was saying? <laughs> what? Gonna... what did you think I was saying? What? Sorry, he was, yeah, he was I don't know that word, and I know Shh. all the words. Like frost. <laughs> Poor frost. I'm named after an alphabet, H- bro. H O A R. I'm gonna pull. <laughs> yeah, please save us from this bit. I'm not Violet into it. Actors. <laughs> um, because they're wrapped, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. Perhaps I sh- shouldn't. I'm going to pull out the bag. Perhaps I shouldn't be the one to reach in and risk touching them. Um, the only thing I like, what if they don't? Because it's a flowing thing of magma, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if they don't get destroyed and this is flowing? Well, I, I can mage hand and just dip it. And if like nothing happens, nothing happens. But if like part of it melts away, we can just dip further. I, I'll grab them. I'm going to stick my hand in the bag. Also, we can wait to keep going a bit more, or here. Oh, we got the try. Let's let's just try. Let's try here. Okay, I have so to pull them out of the bag. Start with the amulet. Mage and the amulet. Okay, yeah, you bring the amulet over, kind of dangling. Uh, don't get, I, don't don't get, get the lava. Be- before he does that, I pull my gun out and ready an action. For, I'm gonna cast. Uh, if any bad guys come don't, out, don't, don't, I'm gonna cast resistance on Finnan. Okay. Yeah, don't um, get so like you- a Tim Tam and milk. The proper is you dunk and hold, um, and then come out. No, no. And similar to a Tim Tam, it starts to melt. Um, <laughs> you buy a dish and then you drink the milk through the Tim Tam. That's how you yeah. drink the so lava slam. through the phylactery. Um, <laughs> so as you go Gross. to dip it in, you can see like uh, the lava starts to melt away the iron um, around it. Uh, you can see it like the it gets red hot and just begins melting away and you see the diamond in the center kind of holds its shape for a bit and kind of sits on top of the magma um, and slowly starts to descend into the magma. I would my chance grab the diamond. Okay. Um, as you kind of start to pull it out, you can see it sort of fracturing uh, across um, and begin to kind of like pulse uh, as the magma kind of drops away. I take I back up. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, back up. Like it's about to explode. Um, I, I'm gonna. Can I cast Shield of Faith on Spooky? Yeah, yeah I back up. Okay. Uh, cast so Shield of Faith on Spooky. As you begin to dunk it again, um, you feel this kind of like, uh, like you feel the like ground beneath you kind of shake as there's like a, uh, an explosion of my ma- uh, magma from the stream. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. You get but a D four. So far, Tim. You get a D four. Not with a huge that. chamber. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. I don't have disadvantage on saving throws, right? Uh, Just ability checks. Ability checks. Okay. Yeah. Um, fifteen. We're all. If it's such a small chamber, we're all in ten feet of Cali, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't want to. I don't want to rules lawyer myself, but I didn't say I backed up. I said I cast her the faith on this. That's true. Oh, sweet. So I get her plus four. It's gonna yep. be uh 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 nineteen. Sorry, what save? Seven. What save are we making? I'm so sorry. Is Dexterity. it dex? Dexterity. Save. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Eight. Nine, Nineteen. Eight. Nineteen. Eight Two. with your plus four. Twenty-two. 
What was yours, Spooky? 19. 19. Uh, okay, so just Neppy. Okay. Um, as the lava kind of splashes onto you, you all seem to, like, you are all able to kind of dodge it. Um, I like to think that Finnan doesn't move at all. It just, like, misses him completely. <laughs> He's just uh, like, oh, fuck. Oh, crazy. Uh, you take... Thirty-one points of fire damage, and That's you are halved. on fire. That's halved because okay. I'm uh, fire resistant. Um, Thirty-one, this, like, so halved is 15? sixteen. No, sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Okay. Um, as you like, uh, yeah, you're also on fire. Your clothes catch fire. Okay, I'm gonna do everything I can to try and put out. That's a fire uh, alarm. Putting it like doing something. So uh, uh, you're so fire. I, we might have Started to end it early fire. because I'm, definitely a thing that's happening. Yeah, that's our building. The lights flashing. Yeah, we gotta. We gotta. Uh, wait, 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 wait. It does this all the time. It does this guys, all the time. There was I'm a fire explosion, I'm not, and I'm now not your gonna, house is on fire. I'm not gonna fuck around. So I'm gonna go what? check what's happening. Nappy, you get naked. I'll take care of the flame. I'm gonna pat down the fire. I'm gonna. Try and unfire myself. Okay. <laughs> what, is, uh, what the fuck? Sorry. What? What fuck? time is? That's, that's real that's role playing, guys. Wild. That's how immersed we are. Power of Belsum. Um. Oh, get out of here, Carlson. Tim. <laughs> get out of here, Carlson. Tim. As there is a bright flash of yellow through the chamber, you kind of see this, like, yeah, wh- along with the lava kind of exploding out. Um. But it seems to be destroyed. How much I'm of down. my clothes is burnt? Like all of it? I would say like like 50%. You managed to get it out. You managed to get like letters also controls flame, I assume. Okay. I cast Oops. mending. It's going to take dual cast Start mending. Start to mend. Dual cast mending. I, oh, I have not any... established what Yana is wearing on her legs, but that's fine. I have another <laughs> set. It's fine. Can I'm going to puts cast. on another set of vestments. Uh, just, Callie's like, going to double cast cleansing touch she's not that's a joke she doesn't do it but that was a joke i'm trying to be funny i hope everything's okay up there rushed in and out of frame yeah oh man it's exciting what did you do did you i'm sorry you guys dnd too hard (laughs) we did so hard that we we've actualized it broken down the barrier i mean to be fair it smelled like smoke their cameras on so we can Watch their okay. building burn. <laughs> oh, I really hope that's not what's happening. It uh, smelled like smoke I hope it's in Tim and I's like place. Their like their fires an hour. The beach. Yeah. Their building is like, like one foot from a fire station. They'll be okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fine. They're, they're, they're also really be... close to a hospital. Yeah, so they'll be good. double fine. They'll be so yes. fine. <laughs> so fine. now everyone can find them. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> they were just. Um, I, so, I, I had I had, a, I had a moment where I thought it was mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what, yeah. I want to cry. I heard it. No, please. Was that in like what second stream we ever did for your fire? Second or third? Yeah. 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 So are we going to continue dipping these things? Dunking them? Dunking? I think they're, they're, Finnan and Letters are just sort of running around dealing with some fire at this, yeah, at this point. Well, Um, Finnan is dunking it because I I don't have major. Okay, you're right. So he brings out the uh, staff staff of Isilme. He does does 10 push ups really quickly and then, and then dips the stash. Um, And uh, kind of brings it over um, and kind of lays it along the lava um and it also seems to kind of uh like as it melts it begins to crack um and this time there is a uh there is a flash of yellow um but there is also a flash of uh complete blackness magical darkness happens there's like a brief flash of yellow and then everything goes completely black that's very cool we love that and that lasts it's it's like it persists for a bit the magical darkness mm-hmm. you're you're in magical darkness currently is anyone on fire everyone everyone okay can i just no lava splash uh can no I... lava splash yana can you dispel magic this yeah i'm gonna dispel magic the magical darkness okay um as you do uh you cast dispel magic um i need you to make a dispel check 
Ooh. What is oh, that? Yes. So it's a, you're going to roll your uh, I D20. D20 and then add your spellcasting modifier. I think okay. it's just spellcasting modifier. It's cars. I think it's just plus your intelligence. Mm -mm -mm. Good that is a just straight intelligence. Yeah. That is a 17. 17 is not enough. The magical darkness persists. Well, Finnin could see through it. Finnin could True. see through it. Yeah. I think Finnin has sort of got a vacant look in his eyes. We actually can't. That's true. We, can't, we cannot. Finnin yeah. sees. Finnin sees. It's quiet. Fin like Finnin, should... what's going on? Oh, my God. He's just doing push ups. Just doing push ups. Uh, apparently, Sean sent a message to us before. No, he just sent it to us. Letters can put out flames, so Neppy's clothes do not have to fully combust. So I didn't lose all of my vestments. That's great. That's great. Thank you, letters. What, <laughs> what do we do? I, I could try and just. I can just spell magic. Again. Okay. Okay. Finn and, Finn and, like you can, can see, Finn and goes, um, I, I can see through it, but nothing is, it's just the same. I don't see anything different. It, it's destroyed, I, I think. I don't see it anymore, but. Because I, we got this staff and it was in the hands of Varys, mm -hmm. the druid, mm -hmm. the drow druid in mm -hmm. Toran. Mm -hmm. Um, what color was his magic when he cast magic to him? Uh, it was not yellow. Well, I'll make a history check, though. See what you remember about it. Earth. Okay. Uh, 14 plus 4 plus 7, so 25. 25. Um, his magic was not yellow. Um, his magic uh, had more of like a kind of like a silvery blue um, essence to it. Like would I have seen anything that would have given off a magic like that, like the blackness like that before? The closest thing that comes to mind uh, is um, your time in the, uh, the chamber of Saloon, the stairwell of Saloon. Oh, like, uh... Like, okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, oh my. Uh, you, your audio. We They're can't hear They're oh connecting. Uh, are you guys okay? Fuck playing D&D. &D. There Sorry, are what? folk here. Fine I mean, I folk. feel like this more into... Oh, this actually, this might, they might think it's a fire. That lighting isn't a fire. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> are you guys right. okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're no. live streaming on Twitch. <laughs> What we're worried about is Neppy's clothes, and letters can put out fires, so she yeah. doesn't have to get naked. Okay, okay. So we're okay. we're we're past that now. We we destroyed we destroyed the second staff or the staff, and it cast magical darkness in the entire room. So Finn's the only one who can see. <laughs> and what he he uh, <laughs> you see the staff is destroyed. I did this no, as Tim and but definitely hear what you're saying because no one has put a siren on. <laughs> this is great. Uh, uh, we can go somewhere more quiet. <laughs> <laughs> the level of dedication. This is wild. I love it. <laughs> There's amazing. some sort We're of emergency, still and they've, D &D. they've called to ask also, if they're magically clothes are on your fire. Your videos have turned. Oh no. <laughs> We've we turned them off. Priority. So oh, that's good yeah. idea. Good yeah. idea. Yeah. Maybe was if I want to watch them just in case. <laughs> oh my god. Um, there we go. This is. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna move to the quiet side of the building. So we Great. can play peace. Like, <laughs> you, you, you guys are okay? <laughs> you move to the quiet <laughs> side of the building. Can you please move away from the building? <laughs> please. Careful. We have some good lighting up here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Leave it you're to right. Sean to Sorry, think about right. get, lighting get first. Get the lighting right first. Oh, also, please don't expose God. where you live by accident. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the place that may or may not be on fire. <laughs> what? I mean, if, if you live in West Vancouver and you see a firefighter, 
then okay yeah yeah i feel like us playing D next to that building that's on fire might be in poor taste to people to our neighbors oh my god okay okay what? okay Okay, Timothy, describe to me. Describe to me what I see. Uh, you, you see the staff is destroyed. Um, and you saw that there was a flash of yellow. And then very quickly after that, there was uh, a, a magical darkness that came up. Spooky tried to do, dispel it, but it did not seem to work. Um, she rolled a 17. And um, Nepi recognized um, that this magic was like what we experienced in the a room dedicated to Saloon in the Tomb of the Rainbow Queen. Your lighting is so good. Oh, that is very wow. good. It's oh, better so than nice. boys. Your it's apartment. Fresh. Yeah. Though I am is. getting some thumb. Just yeah, a little off. bit of thumb. A little bit of thumb. Minimize the thumb. A little bit of thumb. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Oh, yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Can I grab Spooky's pants mm -hmm. and dump them? Sure. Um, you go in, uh, like, as you kind of move them over the magical darkness fades away and you ah, go and take spooky's the pants the alarm has stopped i think it's safe to go in i think it's safe to go in you take spooky's pants over um and you dunk them dunk and them they, and they just melt away that's a dead lich baby yeah <sighs> there isn't that i can't see what the chat's saying right now because it i feel like it, well i mean there's I feel no like... flash or anything they just Ooh, that's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. A bad sign. Can the, I? The fire people have stopped making. Also, this I would like to say my favorite thing is Adam and Sean playing beside each other because they're in a little this, commentary between each other. Like I do. That's a bad sign. That is a bad sign. It's it's great. Delightful. If I close my eyes, is the is mad? Is, do I still see the abyss? Uh, yeah, your madness still persists. Okay. There's a little taste of what you guys will see when we play live because mm. that's true this is true we're gonna, we're gonna go check and see if our house is is good to be back in just turn um, their cameras back on, on. <laughs> yeah just turn your cameras back on we can actually check on your house for you you guys turned our cameras off or did i yeah do that? we it's did not we did that we did it does not uh who's our who's the mod right now is that uh yanis you could yes. probably yanis can we check on one of their house one of their rooms <laughs> it, it, it's just ted it's oh just gosh ted. <laughs> Imagine if there was somebody in their house. Oh God! Just oh, a bunch God. of firemen. Oh, they have oh, to accept they it. Accept no, oh, they have to accept it. That's so funny. Oh, no. So now we know someone's not in their house because. So I'm now now D and D wise, I'm worried that it didn't explode or like a lich didn't come out being like, "Hey, stop" or anything like that. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound good for us. Hey, please don't. Those are my pants. Don't bring my pants. I can. Yeah. This really looks like firelight. <laughs> I could. Uh, I can ask if he has been destroyed. I can ask my goddess. Yeah, yeah, yeah do that. Yeah. Do that, that sounds like a good idea. Is there anything <laughs> else we wish to know? <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm going to call my mom about this. Hold on one sec. <laughs> I have three questions. Anything else uh... that we need to know right now? Is is whatever the the other lady dead? Um, uh, is our house on fire? I don't know if Nephthysicet knows that. I mean, we did establish you guys tore down the walls of reality. <laughs> um, uh, with how good you were playing D and D. What is her name? Is that Estitia? Um, no, no. Um, Estitia is the water titan. Yes. I know names. I just don't know who has them. Um, who are you the, referring to? The, the person who we killed in... Zesperia? Zesperia. Okay. I can ask I, if, I she's, yeah. if she's dead. Um, Is there anything we didn't burn in the lava? No, all three. And those were the three. And what about his bones? We got his bones? What are we doing with his bones? He crumbled to ash. We're no he bones. He crumbled to we ash. Nothing. Okay. Um, well, we I will... Our... What about the yellow diamond? Yes. Had. Mm -hmm. You did you take it? I don't know. Wait, Letters wait. had it. He was gonna do some Lettuce. identify on it. Do we have Lettuce. other bad stuff in the bag that could have been affected by the other bad stuff in the bag? And also, is this a good time to get rid of the bad stuff in the bag? Ah, uh, it it might be. Um, if you wish to burn 
the armor oh, going and back inside. gauntlets of Baron von Kron. We can get rid of those here, if you'd like. Wait, can did we? you say burn the spurs? Yes. Burn the spurs? That would you like to burn Sean, the armor? Sean, thumbs up if you want to burn the spurs. <laughs> Sean, thumbs up if you want the spurs burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Um, sorry, what do you have of the Baron's? Um, his entire set of armor. His uh, claw. His claw. Um, and the spurs. I have oh. all of it. Yeah, could, could I bring them? Yeah. Yes. Throw them in? Could I do yes. that? Callie's gonna throw in okay. the you armor. Throw the armor, you kind of heave it over. Um, you see the armor lands on the lava, kind of sinks down, disappears underneath. God, I hope that worked. <laughs> I mean, he's dead. It's simply just his armor. I hope. God, I hope so. I don't Imagine. like the look on Tim's face. I hope Tim! This isn't some, I hope this isn't some sort of pit where people sacrifice um, magical items to give power to some some deity. I'm back. I heard you guys were thinking about burning the spurs, and that's not okay. If that's happened, I read. Yeah. <laughs> they they threw the armor into the lava, and it sunk beneath. So the spurs uh, and the gauntlet are what we still have. Callie has them. You do. Callie is holding them. Um, uh, while she's doing that, I'm going to start the ritual of compune, but like do that first, and I'll commune after. Um, she'd wait for Finnan to be here so she could see uh, if he could do that. Adam got caught in idle conversation because he's like friendly with our neighbors and I'm like, don't talk to me. <laughs> we're in the uh, I love that we're watching him also have can, this idle conversation. <laughs> if you ever want to see can, what Adam can looks he do like the having magic small hand? talk uh, from the, a low angle. Each hand I believe is only five pounds, rules. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the gauntlet. Uh, what about the spurs? What about the spurs? spurs Don't less. you fucking put those spurs on that water. Well, he, who's saying perhaps, that, though? It's me, letters. <laughs> perhaps first, perhaps I ask what this room is for. True. If my, I, I don't know if she would know, but she may have an idea of some kind. Hey. Yeah, the, what this room is for is a great third question. Those All are, right. three, those are is, three fantastic questions. Is Velsum destroyed? Yeah. Is... Sesperia destroyed, and what is this room used for, if you know? Yeah. All right. Um, do we have I'm, a little lava boat? We could to give, to give you guys, Sean, and letters just like 10 mm -hmm. second uh, catch up. Uh, we threw all three in, and then when we threw the pants in, it wasn't very exciting. Mm. And we're no, we worried. heard that. We heard that. Okay, we're worried about it not being very exciting. Well, so you said Sean and letters, so I don't get in love. That's fine. <laughs> It's a high stress situation. I got, I got trapped, you wanna... Adam, I'm trapped in a small talk too. situation. No, it's so. very good watching you have the small talk because I felt like fun. I was there having the uncomfortable because I small couldn't because I was in the small talk. I couldn't like turn my video off because I was stuck in small talk and it's rude to look like, at. Are you phone. filming me? Are you filming? Yeah, me? exactly. Oh so I was just like, are you filming <laughs> you my kids, dude? This. Uh, okay, I'm gonna cast commune, mm -hmm. um, and um, I'm going to. Uh, drop down onto my knees, do the ritual. Um, Your Grace, I know we spoke only yesterday, but this is uh, a more dire situation. So any guidance or insight you could bring me would be so helpful. Um, we have destroyed the phylacteries as much as we think we can. Is, is Valsum destroyed? You see the familiar kind of cat eyes in the distance and you hear a, no. Do we have what is needed to destroy him? I do not know. He destroyed his phylacteries, or at least we thought we did. Does 
his spirit or some essence of him tethering him to this plane lie within Yana? I believe so. <sighs> that said, I only get three. With your grace, thank you. Thank you. Neppy looks like she's pale and pallid. She walks right over to Yana. He's tethered part of his spirit to you. I don't know what that means. But taking the pants off was not enough. Yana doesn't say anything. We've destroyed the material components of his phylacteries, but I wonder when, if the magic that we thought when the curse was removed went into you instead. I'm going to try to remove the curse from you. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to try and use some form of greater restoration to get that out of you. Okay. Is that all right? You. I trust you. If you feel some resistance from him, you fight back. Um, Callie would come over and hold Yana's hand. We're going to do this here. Is that all right? All right. If he comes back, we'll just kill him again. So, um, can I cast remove curse at higher levels? I think I can. Okay. You can cast it at a higher level, but it doesn't. Change. Oh, it doesn't it? Doesn't change? No. Okay. I'm gonna try remove curse on Yana. Okay. You cast remove curse on Yana. Nothing seems to change. She doesn't. You don't feel any different. You don't feel any different than you did before, and you don't. You didn't really feel much different already. When I cast a spell, because I've cast a few spells today, mm -hmm. what color is it? Uh, it's kind of a greenish color. It's not yellow. Oh. Well, if will you? I'm going to. Try greater restoration. Okay. All right. I'm going to try greater restoration. Okay. On her. Similar. You, you feel kind of the Fuck. warmth of the the divine magic kind of wash over you, but you don't seem to feel much different. I think. Hey, no, go ahead. Finn. Whatever we need to do, we're not going to find it down here. I think our, our best option is to move forward I, I think that what it might be is he is hopefully if there's some vestige left of him alive he is weakened and broken and barely clinging on and we have a little bit of time to figure out what that means and what to do about it I don't think you're wrong, Vinan. I... I just don't think we should leave him there for long. Of course not. But we've tried what we can try down here. Yes. There's no point staying. It seems to me, because it wasn't a curse, it wasn't something taken away from her, it seems we, need, we might need some kind of exorcist or something. He's... It's part of him, right? Like it's some vestige of him, so it's it's not a curse. We we need some somebody who does that. And if we don't know anybody who, who does that, we'll put that pretty high on the priority list. Um, I think 
I think we basically have two options right now. I think we either, from this room, we either go to the Earth Elemental Plane or we go somewhere where someone might know more about this. Elenis? I don't know. It was just a thought. Does anybody know a guy? What about... um? Nissa? I'm, tr- I'm trying to think about, you know, powerful, um, knowledgeable people that we that might know about this. Um, and I'm, I'm either thinking Nissa or um, the air elemental plane and ask Chi and see if anybody there has any idea in their library. I'm going to make a pitch real quick. Callie, if you can call your wife give the stone to Nessa and just put her on the case. She might not know, but she'll know someone who knows, or she'll know someone who knows yeah. someone who knows someone. If we can get that going uh, and that'll take time. And while that's happening, we can go see about clack, which is, uh, I feel time sensitive. I agree. Uh, yeah. Callie would pick up her sending stone and call her wife. Okay. Um, hello. Hi, love. Um, Hi. Uh, I, I, I need to talk to Nessa. Oh, right. Um, okay. Yes, of course. I, uh, I have to. I have to go. It's going to take about fifteen twenty minutes to get over there, but I'll. Yes. If you can bear with me. <laughs> yes. As you kind of wait the next twenty minutes, um, as you hear just kind of ooh, soft, like the, the whole twenty minutes, <laughs> Callie would just be like talking to her wife, just like chatting. Okay. If if it's like if if we know there's there's going to be a twenty minute wait, uh, should we start making movements in some way? I just don't want to sit here for twenty minutes. Well, if we have ten minutes, I can look at that diamond. Yes. Yeah. Do that. I mean, I think I think what I don't think there's anything else on this island for us, and I think that every way we're leaving is through some variety of teleportation or. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Should we teleport? But. I think we should we, teleport mid call. It'll mess with the reception. We, we don't know where we're going yet. Yeah, we don't know where. Let's uh, let's identify it. And yeah, you start. identify uh, the gem is a uh, yellow diamond, and it is a uh, a diamond of uh, summoning an earth elemental. Oh, an earth elemental gem. You may crush it. It summons an earth elemental. Oh, that, that, we're going to give that to Clack as like a sorry we let you get kidnapped gift. Because he would love that. That's, that's got him written and it's all a, over it. It's a one time use. You sort of like crush it and then it conjures. Yeah, it. we're going to need to get a saddle. Good thing um, I didn't, didn't, didn't break it right, uh, right when I, I tried to. Oh, that was a different gem. Actually, never mind. Can, can Nepenthe and Callie, while we're waiting, it, can you sense any undead in me? Oh yeah. Can I can I divine sense? Yeah, hers will catch more than mine. You sense very now that you're kind of looking for it, it's very faint. Um you do get a kind of aura. It's difficult to pinpoint. You can't. It's not anywhere in particular, but it is something. Is it like I mean, when sorry, it's, it's when the Baron was when similar, I sensed it within Callie's chest? Similar, yeah, similar. Right. Can I? Okay. I have a new similar, but ability. not quite the same. I have a new ability called Command Undead. Can I command that on that part of myself? Jenny, I was just about to message you and be like, I wonder if you can do that. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> I've never tried. <gasps> mm. I can try something. Holly's uh, still talking to her wife. What are you guys talking about? Uh, just her day and how much I miss her, how pretty she is. Nice. Those are some good things. I'm dead. Let me just pull up the spell here. It's control undead, right? Control um, undead. I have command undead. Command undead. It's, it's the 14th, 14th level, level yeah. necromancy ability. 
Oh, the necromancy ability. Um, as an action, you can choose one undead that you can see. Oh. You cannot see him. Can't see it. Um, Tim. Mm -hmm. So my channel divinity of destroy undead has gone up to a CR three at level fourteen. Can I? No, okay. higher than that. Okay. You can try, but. Doesn't yeah. your destroy undead also frighten undead? If it's higher than a CR three? Uh, yeah. It uh, has to make yeah. a wisdom save. So I am going to. Oh. I look around at everyone. Just like ex exercise it. If. If it. I'm going to try to push his spirit out of her. This is if there is. It's like that episode of. I no, go ahead. the scene from um, the first live Scooby Doo movie where all the souls are like leaving their bodies <laughs> and switching. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my Please god, Tim, do it. I don't. Do it, Tim. I, I know you haven't seen it, Matt. It's okay. <laughs> um, I am going to. I look at everyone and I go, do we do this here? Because if oh. it comes out. Then we push him in the fire. This is exactly the in place I'd put him in the pit. Um, fucking again. If you're hey. gonna, if you're gonna do this, everyone should just get closer to me, right? I yes. um, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, I don't have that prepared today. Kelly's also um, still on the phone with her wife. How long does it take you to hallow a place? It's a long time, isn't it? Twenty days. days. And I'm yeah. casting magic for twenty-four hours. I'm gonna turn spooky. So I that create a bonfire back, in the corner of the room, concentrating okay. my brain. So that her back is like, if I push him out, mm -hmm. and if he's frightened of me, he has to go that way. Um, I cast Spirit Guardians. I, I, I just get everyone to get near me, and I'll decide where his soul won't go, so they all get my buff. Yeah. I'm still he, not hanging up will, with my wife. He will likely be very... It will be very difficult for me to get him out. Um, so he, this may not work, but it might. All right. Wait, 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 I'm gonna... Hold on. Anything mm, else? Is, is it worthwhile me casting Bane on her? Hoping it's... it affects him. Should I take down her, my shield of faith? That's probably gone by now. It is. It's an hour? Oh, sad boys. Um, I'm I worry that... Yeah, because you did it. If he, yeah, you no, if you cast it on her, it'll probably be on her and not on him. Yeah, it'll, I think so. It would hurt her if I, she's. I can channel divinity at the same time and do the same. To try and push him out, the both of us. Mm -hmm. Sick. I love um, that. Callie, right. Callie's going to reach over and touch Kokani and Neppy, and she's going to bless both of you. Thank you. Hashtag bless. 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 Um, <laughs> Neppy. Reaches out her hand to Kokani. And I'm going to put my hand on Spooky's chest. And we're going to destroy undead or turn undead. Okay. Try and get it out of, get it out of her. Uh, Yana, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Fail it. Fail it. I should have banged her. Damn. I got advantage on wisdom saving throws. <laughs> Come on. Come That's, on. Uh, Can you pick to fail it? No, I, I'm assuming in this 12. situation she can't. Well, That's a failure. You Double. feel your whole body yank backwards as you begin to run away from Nepenthe. Lightning lure. Okay. Because we're I, pointing you, her at the fire, right? Yeah. yeah. As you get, like, as you're about to step off of the, the um, cliffside into the magma. Has she, I, has she... Are you undead? No, I think it, it's, it's him inside the of part her. of her that is him is pulling away. I... Do you want me to try it again? Before you try it again, should I constrain her by turning her a little bit to stone? What if I just... Hold hers. Yeah, we can just grapple can. her. What yes. if I just grapple so her? So small. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap my my arm under her arm 
And I'm like gonna, I'm gonna, off. I'm gonna like just like wrap my arms around her, just like I'm just gonna give her a hug, but I'm planting my feet. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. I'm still Hand on the phone out. with my wife. <laughs> the She's biggest like, energy. It's tucked into like her armor here. <laughs> we've all been there. Phone in the bra. We've all been there. Phone in the bra. Kamea's here. <laughs> <laughs> I put my hand on her, and we try it again. Okay. Make another wisdom saving throw. You get the plus four from Callie too. Maybe she yeah. has to succeed it. I don't know. Who knows? D and D is wild. I mean, we just Tim set up does. a fire. Just... We just we just set up a fire alarm in an apartment building by playing D and D. So we good. did. We do need so hard that stuff. That's a, that's a success. A success. It's a success. Okay. It's a success on his end too. Fuck! Oh! <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> I can do that tomorrow. We can keep doing that twice a day to get him out. Okay. I can't do it anymore today. I did. There was a moment in the fight where we like hit him with a spell and it looked like it was about to take effect and then he like focused really hard and it didn't. Do you think his like weird semi him spooky form has that ability? Because if he can just like choose not to ignore it every day. I have no idea. What if we just went and found a ton of priests today? Bunch of priests. <laughs> That's we actually not a bad one. idea. We can find one right now. So why don't I we... think we need like 10. <laughs> or at least six. Where's the Where's most? It? Where can we go for the most priests? If Tempo. we go to Temple Felenis, there's just a bunch and they just all circle around and go, blah. Let's do we it. Can... Let's do it. All right. And I'm out of teleport. We can go up and down. We can also try the air elemental plane. Oh, that's that's and then also a temple. Bounce let's go, down. Let's go to the air elemental plane, find a bunch of priests, try it out again. A question. Yes. If he comes out mm. in the air elemental plane, we murder him. Kill him so hard. So right. hard. Sh sh do we go? Yes. Go yes. Uh, Callie's gonna pull out the sending sign. I'm like, hi, love. I have to go now. We're gonna we're going up to the airline. Wait, we okay. should still. Uh, I wait, don't think I can stay on, on the phone. Should we finish this call before we bop? I mean, that would be rude. In case this doesn't work, just in case this doesn't work, just in case this doesn't work. I'm sure, sure. she's got all the priests, but like, Nessa's the best. Have we reached Nessa? At this point? Oh yeah, she's like she's <laughs> arrived. Sorry, I was looking at the spell thing. Uh, yeah, you've arrived at at Nissa. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I would pass the sending stone over because it's Hello? no longer her life. Uh, Nissa, Hello, it's, it's Naminta. Ah, uh, hi. hi. Um, I'm sorry to bother you. No, um, <laughs> but we've got a bit of a problem on our mm. hands. Um, mm -hmm. so That's all, the, the only time I hear from you. Right. Well, so you were giving us information about the phylacteries before, and we uh -huh. took your advice, and we melted them in lava. Good. And that was great, because it seemed okay. to destroy oh, the three of them. However, um, okay. a part of Velsum's essence, mm. I think, has bound itself to Yana. Let's throw her in the lava, then. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, Nessa terrifies me. <laughs> yeah, like me, I'm, Lennon is terrified of Nessa. I'm, I'm, ki I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know. She's I know. The obviously spark. kidding. Now, Kogany and I. Um, She's my favorite of all of you. 100%. I did I hear that? Did I? You... <sighs> what yes, do you, do you, you have any suggestions? Um, we've tried to uh, excise him, and I think we can do it. Um, it just. He, He's, he resisted. Do you have any suggestions? Anything that we can do to... I, I mean, that is... Exorcism is beyond me. Uh, right. But if he has bound himself to her soul... Her soul? Uh, well, I mean, how, how, did, how did that happen? Did she... She was the pants. Huh? Um, they began to meld themselves to her skin. Mm -hmm. So we removed the curse, which allowed her to take the pants off. Right. But in doing so, uh, we saw the pants, the, the magic 
in them faded. What, um, were they always melted to her, the pants? No. Oh. What happened before that? The, we sealed the rift and she he died. died. She died. Yana died. She Yana died. died. She did. While wearing the pants? Yes. Yes. That's probably when it happened. He bound his soul to her when she died. It was an empty vessel. Ah. Hadn't he already died as well before he killed her? He died. Yes. He came yes. back. So and he then he killed her. Broke a part of his soul off. Killed he her. Created another phylactery. Nepi's swearing. In Again, this. <laughs> Again, this is sounding more and more like Harry Potter. I'm just saying <laughs> we stick with Horcruxes. Come on, guys. Guys, lactoids um, are it. Have Hashtag to, um, my lactoid. Go ahead, Yana. I, I have a really crazy idea. It might be a last resort. But if I rest, um, I, you remember that time my soul left my body? Yes. Yeah, I can. I, I've thought about it a lot, and I can do that on purpose, if I have the right stuff, um, and then you could just take care of my body, but then I wouldn't have one anymore, so we'd have to get me a new one. Um, I've been working on that, and I am that's... close. I don't have that <laughs> There's yet. also oh. a yeah, lot of tasteful rock, like that. a lot of tasteful stone statues of you, uh, quite lifelike, that maybe like you could be a rock golem. That would be pretty cool. Perhaps we try uh, priests. Let's try all the priests. Let's First? try all the priests. Let's try every Let's try priest. Lisa, very priest. Lisa, thank you so much for your insight. Yeah, sure. Uh, if there is anything else that if you have come across anything, uh, we would be most gracious. We're going to go and try and uh, excise a lich. Nissa, if I may, uh, you said we you only come to you when we got problems, but you also seem really busy. So, like, yeah, are I we am. down to just like hang out sometimes, like when we don't have problems? Yeah, or is that you're, like, you're I mean, never I'm here. Yeah. I mean, if you're in the city, Would you you're, want that? I, I, some you of want you, it? sure. Oh, fun. Okay, cool. Who? Well, wait. It, it, Callie grabs it. She's like, "Would you want to hang out with me?" Sorry, she's she gave me back the phone. Uh, or the, <laughs> can you, <laughs> the can stone. you tell her? Can you tell her to have a good day for me? I will. I will Thank pass you. it along. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Do you think Nessa would want to hang out with me? I don't. I have <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I'm not sure she wants to ever see me. But then okay. she's, she scares me a little bit. I, me too. I'm okay. Nippy's okay, got her go. hands outstretched. And Kelly's going to be like, Give me your hand. I Let's love get you out so here. much. And we're going to. Love oh, you. I'm going to cast sending to Chi first. <laughs> Chi, we're coming to the airplane. Right now. Like, this is like a 3 a.m. I'm this outside is, text. This, yeah, this is when your friend calls and is like, I'm in your house. No, this is an equivalent. <laughs> of, this is the equivalent of someone throwing a rock at your window and it going through your window. <laughs> We're bringing um, a lich. Um, please, if you could gather your most... All of them. Experienced priests. Dangerous situation. Help. And we're gonna go. <laughs> so as you really, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and we cast like cast plane shift to okay. the uh, temple of the winged serpent. Uh, we you feel that um, kind of familiar sensation um, as you arrive and you see kind of chi there. Kind of, uh, oh, um, I, uh, uh, I was just, I just got your message. <laughs> um, and, I, well, I, ha I haven't had time to, to do anything. That's fine. I, I, thank you. I, I just want to clarify. Perhaps I was not um, <laughs> specific enough when I said a heads up is nice. Generally, that uh, some time, uh, some, a bit of a heads up before, Yes. I appreciate you reaching out and saying that you were on your way. Of That's course. great. My um, sincerest apologies. Gee, mm -hmm. that one is on me, 100%. Um, we need to get a, a lich out of Yana. 
here now soon kokani and i tried but we are unable to try again today we can get rid of it when it arrives i also appreciate you not wanting to um we can get somewhere else uh immediately um i am simply uh asking for help from I, any i am happy to help um, but perhaps not here in the center of um, the temple yes. Yes. I, I don't wish to invite that kind of evil to this place do you have like no. an an exorcism spot uh no that is definitely a first we don't come across many undead here so i will admit that our acolytes are not uh, the most well versed in this, but I will gather a few priests and priestesses, and uh, we will meet you um, out in the in the courtyard uh, or the the um, the front of the temple, and I'll take you to a smaller island. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Very well, I'll see you out there. Shouldn't take too long. She kind of, um, you can see, kind of sends the word to a few others as they fly across. Um, and as you head out, uh, maybe 20 minutes later, a number of other um, uh, Aarakocra kind of come with Chi, and there's probably about six of them um, that come out into the yard with you. Um, and she like, uh, are you able to fly, any of you, all of you? Um, not uh, right now. I, uh, it's I fine if you can't. I, 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 I can have something arranged. Let's just say we can't. All right. Very well. Um, and you see she holds up uh, the staff of Akadi, um, which you now see uh, has changed somewhat. Um, you can see there's a number of, like, um, feathers that have been attached to it um, that seem to have been, like, uh, like, almost sprouted out of it. Um, as you can see, she kind of holds up her staff um, and mutters a few kind of like uh, a few words in you, like in Orin, which uh, Calliope, you understand. Yeah. Um, as you see um, four massive, massive birds um, kind of rise up underneath the, uh, the edge of the island um, and kind of land four massive rocks kind of stand there. Whoa. as their wings kind of outstretched and they're huge birds um, as they like kind of lay their uh, their wings down as you climb aboard. Um, yeah. Let's go. And they oh. take you uh, about an hour's ride to another kind of small floating island. Um, you can see it's like there's, there is kind of a simple open temple um, as they kind of fly and set you down. Um, as they all kind of set up as you gather around spooky pants. So, uh, what? Uh, Sorry, how many priests did we take? There's uh, seven. Chi seven. plus oh. six others. That don't we, do it. Kokini and I um, attempted to use um, the essence of our goddesses to push the undead out of her. Um, and I think it almost worked. Um, we tried it twice, which is both of our abilities for today um but if there is any way that you can try the same um just going back to what happened down in the lava pit we were when yana failed that was good when yana we, we need yana to succeed and then we uh, need him to fail. him to fail okay so, so i will stand close to yana then and i will get yeah, we're gonna blood. I'm going to cast Bless on Yana and Nepi and Finn. I'm going to grapple Yana. Yeah, so I'm going to grapple Yana again. Her little legs can't go anywhere. I'm so hugging her again. As you all gather around, um, you see the priests kind of line up behind you. Um, Yana, as you're kind of being held there, you hear a voice in your head. Oh, motherfucker. Just know that if I die, your soul comes with me to the abyss. Let them try. And that's where we'll end it tonight. You motherfucking <laughs> cliff ledge. What the fuck? No. Yeah, my rolls.
Fuck. Oh. What the fuck? God, I hate Valsum so much. Oh. Such a dirt bag. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, fuck. Okay. No. Gosh darn. Although, if this is your clever way of getting me to use magic jar, then I am okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> um... Wow, that. that'll, that'll work. Shit. Give me time. Give it. Give me time. Magic jar, and I need another very big, very expensive jar. But we can make that yeah, happen. I need an expensive jar, also. Thank you, everyone, right. for sticking around and hanging out with us. Uh, we will be back Monday at eight p.m. Myself, Sean, and Yanis for Chat Water. Um, so please come hang out with us, where we talk about all of this and so much more. We will then be back on Friday. Uh, same Who's time. she? We'll answer that question. And how did we meet her? Um, and we will be back on Friday as well at a uh, special birthday session. For a special fun session. We'll talk more about Adonis. Uh, and then we'll be back on Saturday again, of course, for the regular stream. Thank you oh, so yeah. much, guys. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a good Love night. Ya. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye.